Shout out, everybody. Hey. Oi. 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 We got sound, yeah? It uh, should be. Hopefully. Ah. Ah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Way to test the sound, Mike. Some people do ones and twos. I do. Ah. Yeah. It's like, check. Check. Ah, there we go. Hi, everybody. Ooh, girl. Dab on it. Dab on it. The only problem not being able to see this is we can't see. Okay. You can make it very small and put it in front, but also, like, you know, we got to just not look at ourselves all day. That's so true. Who cares? Very pretty, though. Odd Fox, what's up? What's up, Bob Fox is up in here. We got Alexander up in here. We got Vizier up in here, dude. We got Grizzly Dizzy up in we here. We got the Dizzle Dizzles. Who's both early and late somehow, and you're in trouble. Strawberry Sauce up in here. Sakura's up in here, dude. Sharal's up in here, man. Dude. Mistress Missy's up in here, dude. You're right. Hi, everybody. Dude, Dutchie Yoda up in Dutchie here. Dutchie Yoda, Magritte. 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 Uh, just, um, damn, oh, damn, what? damn, what? damn, what? damn, 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 Ride or die, bro. And so tall. Five months and so tall. We got G, 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 Mane is up in here. What do you want to say? With Vizier, yes. we are now five subscriptions away from 300 subscriptions. We're almost there, guys. Which would be cool to me. So if anyone out there has not given a subscription and has been teetering, now's the time. Or if you were gifted a subscription you're last like, hey, month. Man, Kickstarter's kind of cool. I'm into it. I'm glad to have this like very convenient thing now where I can ask questions live. Maybe I want to support those people. <laughs> but yes. So we are, uh, I believe now, six subs away. If you're uh, if you're also l lurking out there, checking us out, feel free to give us a follow because we're nine follows away from our next benchmark. Our yes. next benchmark is... 1250 followers on Twitch. Yeah. So we're, we're close. Damn on it. Damn on it. Uh, yes. Left. So Work. if we can get nine follows tonight and a couple subscriptions, we will hit two big goals of ours, uh, which would be cool. And also, we wanted to do this stream for a while. And we are. Um, Why did Bro's link get <laughs> zapped? I have no idea. What? I have no idea what's going on. Uh, Sliver says, I have it on good authority that if the Brothers Murphy 300 subs tonight, Nick will shave his head. Sure won't. <laughs> Uh, um, but uh, I think someone else said something. How was up, Dreamwine? How are you? Oh, what to do? What's up, Smash Pack? Smash Pack. Um, Cash Liam's up here. So oh, Cash Liam's up here. That's Caden's up here. So up. here's the thing. Also, we are gonna be going through Kickstarter, and there is a spreadsheet that one of our followers made for us. If you do not have it, and you kind of want to be able to go through it with us, um, go to our Discord, which is the link is right here. There. It's so terribly free to join. It is so terribly free to join. We understand what it do. What up? What's up, Roll Fanders? Roll um, Fanders up in here. So please feel free to go to Discord. It is in the general category. Um, and so you can kind of follow along with us. The spreadsheet is, um, as of a couple days ago, there's a few things that have been added since then. But it's done in terms of newest to oldest. So it's not done in terms of most popular or anything like that. It's just newest to oldest. So how we're planning on this working is we're kind of just going to go through the list and there's certain things that you want us to check out, you want us to check out earlier rather than later. Let us know. This is not like a like duh, 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 duh. it's kind of like we're going to we're going to free wheel it. There's certain things that we definitely want to check out uh that we know. Um one thing that's not on the list that we will check out is Tiny Epic Mechs cuz that came out like yesterday or today or something like that. Yeah. So we will check out Tiny Epic Mechs even though it's not on the list. Except for it's stupid. And kickstart let heart. You are right. Cheryl was saying something about links getting just deleted. I don't know what that means. What's that it's deleting the links. Is it? It looks like it's... From the Discord thing, I can see the links. The They're links also... are there for us. We're the Brothers Murph, so it shouldn't, because you're a mod. That's weird. Ah. Um. And Shabrasad says, I wish I was more active in Discord. I need to make it a priority. Hey, we all do, but... Hmm. That's weird. It's all good. Is anyone else seeing deleted links? Yeah. Is Cheryl seeing it, but I'm not seeing it. But also, we are the Brothers Mercy. Maybe we would see it. No, because every time, other times, it does show. Anyway, let us know, folks. Uh, Dutch Yoda writes a bi-weekly Kickstarter update for a Dutch site. Only a top five. Next one is due this Thursday. That's pretty cool. Cool. Top five so Dutch, Dutch games. Yoda, please let us know what's on your eye. What's caught your eye a little bit. And, and uh, you know. Indeed. And yeah. What's up, JB Count? What do you do? Uh, so it must be just Cheryl said. Okay. Uh, but yes, thank you all for joining us here. We got a couple people in here. This is awesome. 
Um, we got some peeps, dude. We got peeps. We got peeps. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna start. So we're gonna switch over. So how we do this is we got both. Oh, <laughs> wild. Isn't Back to knowledge? this. What? Whoa. How'd you paint that wall? You so painted fast? it so quickly. Boom. But we're going to be going through um, the Kickstarter thingy like this. So as hopefully this is showing this moving. Look at Tiny Epic Max. You put on a movie. Indeed. Um, indeed. So then I have and I'm, I have my computer over here. And so I have the, the, the um, spreadsheet thingy over here. So that we can uh, we can double up. Why don't you why don't you man that? I get powers. What am I manning? Where am I? You're manning that over there. Um, okay, people, let's start doing this. I'm excited. Oh, we have oh, we have oh, sixteen thousand oh, projects to go through. Only sixteen thousand eight hundred and eleven projects. So we're gonna kind of go through kind of quickly. Five. I minutes think that is. I think that is. Uh, Kickstarter. Kickstarter code. wide. That is my guess. I give technology to Mike. I know. We'll see if it. We'll see if it. Uh, I am honestly terrified. <laughs> okay, so Mike, you want you? Let's do it. Let's do a. a Small scroll. Slow scroll. Age of Myth Ancient World Supplement for 5th edition. That's just a supplement. Mutant Mayhem Minis RPG post-apocalyptic figures for MCC. Mutant Crawl Classics is that. Okay, now we know. Ogre Zine 2, the Ogre Magazine. That's cool. Cool. Let's go right here to Let's Tiny go Epic Max. Max. Okay. <laughs> it's a project we love, okay? Even Kickstarter's into it by Gamelin Games. So let's see what this is all about, man. Let's see what's going on over here, man. All right, so it's a one to four player, fast paced action programming game of arena combat featuring a mech and power armors to put yes. on your item meeples. So the item meeples go next level where actually like, you can put it on it cool. and stuff. So the goal was 15,000, that 312,000, so they're doing okay. Jeez. They are doing okay. So 21 days ago, so hopefully they make it. Um, it features these item meeples, which are their whole like shtick. Um, let's see. Let's go down. Let's, yeah, let's go down see. Let's, let's find out a little up. bit about it. Oh wow! So, yeah, it's a very it it's a very club. small okay. box, and the, the, they're all the same size and stuff like that. But the mechs look cool, and it's a programming game. And I do like programming games mm -hmm. a lot, um, especially because this one is smaller, and I think that would be really nice. Oh look, go down. So you get tiny up mechs for twenty bucks. Yeah. That's, oh yeah. That's they're cheap too. Nice. And that's the thing I was talking to someone about this earlier. It's like worth getting. it annoys me sometimes that these take. The tiny epic games are a bigger footprint than they should be. But at the same time, they are twenty bucks. You know, it's yeah. like oh yeah, I think I think they're great. You know, whether or not your favorite things, like they're cheap, they're affordable, they're portable. Indeed, and it is cool as Alf Fox just said. You get to put the meeples in the, yeah, the so in the little them. minis, which is get, like little guns super and shields cool. and things. What's and, up, Sweetie? See? And uh, Silver says, yeah, best part is twenty to twenty-five bucks. I mean, that's pretty sweet. Sweetie, see? Uh, and. Oh, Sedecio is looking at Tiny Epic Mechs, Robin Hood, Dusk, Arena of Shadows, Into the Black Forest, and the Artemis Project. So this is how they come yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. So they snap into your mech boom. when you earn it and play. Oh, wow. Then, boom. Pow. 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 That's cool. That is pretty darn cool. 20 bucks. We have to, we have to get this one. That's pretty fun, At some point, because this is... do a pledge of 200 or more. <laughs> you get 10 copies. Oh, that's for more for, um, like, retailers for, uh, and stuff. Retailers. Very, very cool. That seems very... Mm. Scroll down. See if there's, like, any stretch goals or anything going on for it. Hmm. Mm, mm, this is how we'll have to. I keep guess this, this makes you arena, and you got to program to move around and fight and stuff like that. The thing I like about the tiny epic games is that they all, I mean, for the most part, that I understand it, are soloable as well. Yes, I, this I one is as well. I quite like them. Uh, ooh, ooh, so many get four power. Why are so many little things? They uh, went all in on the tiny little stirf. Yeah, Taking tiny epic. And, and it hell, it's, it's they have a grip of tiny epic games, and they all of them very well. That's John gets James. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> I picked his nose. Okay, so they get 30,000. The box upgrades. So, oh, it's a thicker box now. Tiny Epic Series is known for its sturdy game boxes. They are quite sturdy, actually. It's sleek. So yes, that. they are. There's another upgrade to the boxes. Card upgrades. That's good. Wood upgrades. Ooh, nice. Wooden biddies. Mm -hmm. Solo play. I think these, they More just upgrades. know they're going to get them all. Oh, you yeah, know? It's kind of like cool when you're not in that way. Ooh, so they got an extra pilot so far. Another weapon. Couple extra pilots and weapons. Cool. Next one's another pilot. So I'm sure that they'll hit more things like All that. Of these. It's the other weird thing though, like, you know, Zombie Side goes so crazy with their uh, stretch goals, but this one you can only go so crazy because the it still needs to fit in the box. Oh, you're right. If it's gonna fit their whole shtick. So you like ain't they, wrong. well that's why a lot of stuff is limiter. like better cards, because it's like, yeah, they need to upgrade it. Oh, uh, what's up? Um 
Mr. Lunches. And Dreamwine says their portable take up too much room. I, I there's part of me that agrees. I I, I especially like tying up a quest is bigger than a lot of board games we have. And I'm like, dude, this game is huge. Mm -hmm. Um But yeah, so it's um it's pretty cool though. Uh, I'm I'm down. I'm down. Alrighty, Mikey. Let's let's scroll on down. Yeah, this is the one that Joe's looking at. So oh, let's pop him Live the adventure defending the common folks as you fight the forces of the Sheriff of Nottingham. Indeed. Let's see, this has got 194 backers. Well, they only placed a thousand bucks. They got 13 grand. So I guess this is not a huge thing. No. But by no, uh, do 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 do. It's like looks cool. You know, I'm digging the art and stuff. I'm into that. I'm into that. Let's see, wait, what's the what's the base pledge? Sixty bucks. We got a copy. That's pretty expensive. It's MSRP is uh, gonna be seventy bucks. It's two player game, which is interesting. Oh, so I wonder if one, if you're the Merry Men, the other one, you're the Sheriff of Nottingham or something. That it's would possible. be kind of cool. It's I could get into that. Um, Alex said, personally, not the biggest fan of any programming game. Max vs. Men is the only one, and probably gonna stay that way. I'm, I like them, but I'm kind of hit or miss. I do like Max vs. Men the most because it is co-op. And no, Sweetie, um, Tiny Epic Max is not co-op. Um, no co-op announced yet. Maybe that'll be a stretch goal down the down the road yeah. here. What's up, Jedi? Interesting with these little blocky pieces. Sample of the character. So is it pieces. is it like Stratego? Because I really hate Stratego. One side marshals the forces of the Sheriff of Nottingham, led by the Black Knight up here. Uh, he leads knights, Normans, pikemen, and archers in pursuit of Robin Hood and into battle. The other side is Robin Hood and his band of merry men who raid the sheriff's castles and rob his gold wagons. Each side has strengths and weaknesses. These forces contest okay. each other in a power struggle to gain the most gold to support their causes. I, I do dig that. Um, I don't know if this is all final mm. stuff, but it is not much to look at. Oh, that is gross. Quite ugly. That is unfortunate right there. Quite ugly. I'm not going to lie. Like, based on the little things and stuff, it looks... I'm very bland. Not super into it. Not super into it. Um, unfortunately. Mujad, I received Tiny Akku Zombies yesterday. Nothing better than a meeple with a chainsaw. It's also fair. <laughs> that is pretty And Alfox said, makes you wonder how many stretch goals these Kickstarters don't actually expect to hit or we're just going to add anyway. Uh, it's it's kind of a good question. It's kind of a good question, honestly. All like, that. something like this, I'm sure that... They know. Every stretch goal they have was always going to become part of the but, game. But there are times where they've had to they have to move stretch goals up or push them back if a, if a project isn't doing as well. Especially sure. something like Kumi or Nice because they have to pay for all those molds, all the art, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And uh, they lose money if they don't hit those stretch goals. What's up, uh, Wizard Man? What'd I do? Uh, Alk Fox saying, I really hope that board isn't final with Robin Hood. And Vidra says, seems like a block war game. Yeah. I'm yeah, kind of bummed. It just seems like, like, oh, move your blocks over here, and then I have majority, so I get. And I'm like, oh, that's Indeed. that's the kind of area control stuff that I could just leave well behind. I'm like, I'm good without that. Sir Kurt wants us to look I at love the two player nature of that. Yeah, that's, that's wants a, to look at diffusion dice at some point. Diffusion dice. Yes. Right, well, so it is. It's on our list here. So we'll, is we'll there, get. To is it. there any? Let me know. Nick. So dusk arena shadows. That's where our list starts. Okay, so our list. Begins. So let's go ahead. And I think that was on uh, Dutch Yoda's list as well. It was as well. What's up, Sprack now? What up, Spracky? Um, marketing ploys. Yeah. Um, interesting. All right, let's check out Dusk Arena of Shadows. Yes. So they are so, at 27,000. 180 Going grand? for 180. They got a little over a month. It's a two to six player tactical arena combat game that uses large scale miniatures and deck construction. Okay, so maybe you're before the game, you're building out your deck okay. and then going for it. Um, so they got a way to go, but they also have some time. I mean, the art here is kind of cool. Kinda it's dirty. cool, but yeah, that's the problem. It's like these kind of games now, a lot of times are like kind of a dime a dozen on Kickstarter. You know? Uh, this is a very Kickstarter-y, I mean, this is the model. The it's just of there's Simon so many of these like built, big miniatures you know? and da-da-da, yeah. and I'm kind of like, all right, like what's what's new though, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, this does um, look cool though. I kind of dig the aesthetic. I don't know, it's gray. I don't know. Cash Game said, uh, two Kickstarters I Back ended today with Skylands and Firenze. Okay, cool, cool. Firenze. I don't think this one's gonna happen. I agree, Vizier. 180 grand is a lot. That is yeah, a lot. Well, it seems like you know they they put a lot into this, but maybe without the capital behind it to. So base about cards only. Pledge 100 dollars card master cards only. Wait, what is when? How much for the game? Um, uh, oh, oh, was that it? Was cards uh, only? Yeah. 100 bucks for the cards only? That's the core pledge. 160 bucks. Oh, there no way. No freaking way. This is this is too overblown, but without the, I think, brand awareness of, like, Simon and stuff. If, like, 160 bucks, like, oh, I want to get this. You only get the cards or you don't get the minis. And you're like, well, this is a minis game. It's yeah. like, well... I, I mean, maybe it's great. I don't know. Has anyone heard much about the game itself? Because I'm, so far, I was like, no. 
four hundred twenty dollars more Lords of the Arena. I mean, like, yeah, like these are humongous. They're big. And cool, they're cool, but, but like, like, who cares? Nah, yeah, I don't know. That's that's a. I don't know much about the gameplay, but it's just. Hawk <laughs> Fox makes a good point. Do they know what a mini is? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if anyone at this point knows what a mini is. It seems like the joke is like, look how giant this mini is. You're like, well, yeah, but it's not very portable. OC Spectre said, it's kind of funny to see one project shooting for 1000 the next one's shooting for 180000 It's weird. It's crazy, the difference. Like, it's just like, whoa, wow. Uh, so Core Set for 160 gives you, I mean, this thing plays up to six, and this will get you to a four-player game to find the arena. Oh, massive scale models with incredible display levels of detail, if only... Not everyone else did that already. Each model is roughly yeah, this one is 135 millimeters tall. That's this is a game that is a phantom. so expensive for the plastic. And no, it's like, you shouldn't be paying for the plastic, man. You should be playing for, for the game, you know? Yeah, so we see this make a good point. I think it'd be okay with that with no minis. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's just get the card game. Like, if it's a good game, cool. Well, they said for just the cards, it was 100 bucks. I know, but I'm like, Oof. it better be a cool-ass card game. Sorry, right, I'm passing. So, uh, next one is Into the Black Forest from Green Couch Games. This one has Bing Bong interest. So, on our, our spreadsheet, it actually says if someone either in our chat or in our Discord has mentioned this game. So, we are going to be looking at games specifically that you all have mentioned. So, if there's certain games you want us to... Um, I'll make a new, new channel in the Discord that people yes. want us to check out uh, in the Kickstarter. But please mention stuff if you want us to check it out. So, this one has um, interest. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Dream White says, too much for me. So this is uh, Into the Black Forest. Only $19, U.S. shipping included. Digging this art. It's kind of, looks uh, like more refined root-ish art. Yes. You know little, what I mean? A little, yeah, a little less cartoony root. Uh, it's a German style. Cards with numbers game from Jason Slingerland. Slangerland. Uh, this one's close, so this one might be where the Bing Bongs themselves can get us over the 8,000 goal if they're interested. 251 backers, 16 days to go. Okay, you got a little Game time. overview. Filled with magic and mystery, Germany's Black Forest is a place of legend serving as the backdrop for the classic tales we've all come to adore. Darkness and danger lurk around every corner, but those who dare to enter the forest and face challenging encounters with creativity and cunning will come out on the other side, enriched for having taken the journey into the Black Forest. Forest. And Wizardman asked us to play the video. We're probably not going to play the videos just because a lot of times they tend to be like two or three minutes long, and it's just we feel like it's going to slow down the stream. So if there's a specific it, video yeah. that you know is really good, wants to check it out. We'll, we'll, we'll totally do it for sure. But it's so, kind of got to be a majority rules thing because it's ju it's just going to slow down the stream. Basic game of nineteen bucks. We got a lot of stuff to get to tonight. People. Get in a copy of Black Forest includes all unlock stretch goals, which we'll see what those yeah, are. Let's go down. Let's start seeing some. Get so, two copies for thirty four. If you want to do for a friend, and a thirty five is a deluxe. Copy. Sliver said, "Reminds me of a Hanamakoji type game." Yeah, maybe it takes place over two three rounds, depending on the number of players. Each round consisting of three encounters or hands. All right, it's a little hand management stuff. Okay. Players will draw six cards or personal deck. High beats low, variable by encounter, match above suit. So a little bit of trick taking. Yeah, that's what kind of seems like. Okay. Uh, vibe. So it's for two to four players. Okay. Okay. What's the I do backs? dig the art. I do dig the art. Or unique player decks, each with 12 cards. Oh, that's, so that's nice. cool. I wonder if they're different. Just maybe the art's different, but it looks like that's about it. I hope that means um, 18 encounter cards, which maybe change the rules up. I mean, I like that's why I like I like trick taking games where things change throughout mm -hmm. the game. I think that's why I like Indulgence so much. Not just because they're our sponsors, because I like the fact that each one it's a little different. Mm -hmm. This does look a little cool. We'll have to, we'll have to... certainly affordable. Ooh, a follow, Ooh. follow. We're closer Ooh. to our goal. We're closer to our goal. They have stretch goals, pledge levels. Thanks for that follow. Sorry guys for all the scroll. I'm just trying to see if we have stretch goals or not. Well, they haven't met their goal yet. Oh, you're right. Well, wouldn't they put, like, as a... Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Other projects, yeah. add-ons and things. All right, cool. Search goals. Oh, there we go. So if they hit 10,000, folding score track, and, all right, instead of the pad, I could do with or without So is this demo at Gen Con? Probably. If it's out on Kickstarter now, they probably had at least a copy of it there. I did not so see it. Right that. first player token. It's a pig. Oh, it's great. Not gonna lie. It's pretty great. The player with the Black Force hand goes first. Upgraded scoring markers, right on. All right, so it seems, but it seems like this is what I would want for something like this. I don't want it to be super overblown. It's a small card game anyway. <laughs> Heroic Logic said some kind of person gifted me a sub. Yay! I don't know when did that happen. I don't remember when well, that happened. Well, there was people gifting subs the other night. So That's true. Um, but yeah, welcome to the fam. Welcome to Team Bing Bong. You welcome bing to Team Bing Bong. You Bing Bong. Right, cool. Into the forest. Into the black forest. I'm into it. Definitely interested. Mark that down as interessanted. Interessant. Yeah, we're going right here to zero gravity, guys. I want to know what the heck. 
this is. All right, so yeah, the next one is Zero Gravity. This one has Bing Bong interest, um, which means you all have mentioned it at some point. It's an incredible 3D magnetic arena and 80 plus miniatures. Seriously, what is A this? Capture the Flag game for two to four players. Join the most immersive experience ever. This, what is this? <laughs> this has a very specific goal of $64,311. That's exactly what we need to make uh, this I think, happen? I think it's converted, so that's why it's converted oh. from 55 euro. What is that? Euros. Yeah, yeah. that's yours. So that's why it's such a weird one. That's cool. They're a third of the they way They think there. Zero Gravity is the second launch at Smash Pack. Okay. Okay. All right, Visual, see you in a bit. So, uh, VG! What's up, Misfit? Hello! And out there's lurking, by the way, please feel free to pop in the chat and say hello. And oh, um, ask questions. Tell us what you're interested in seeing. Yeah, let's, I want a constant discussion going. So, let's go down. Let's let's see what... what 450 is 360 is a magnetic game. Are you turning the box? Like... I have no idea. What? Whoa! Zero Gravity is a 3D magnetic board game for two players, up to four. I must think it's a two-player game where they have some BS four-player variant. Well, it's more interesting than a four-player game with a BS two-player variant. Boom! Um, set a dystopian future, Newton Corporation, the most beloved company that ever existed, gifted the world with the hyper-local gravity engines and together with them, eternal peace and prosperity. However, to provide an outlet for all the violence innate in humans in such periods of peace and to amuse the crowds, Newton Corporation sponsors a, beautiful, a brutal distraction, the Zero Gravity Tournament. In this Capture the Flag game, you control a team of warriors whose life is devoted to entertaining the masses. So it's like a 3D uh, gladiator game. All right, cool. Um, Watch the 360 videos. Hero of Logic said, if I'm going to kickstart more board game products, I first need a bag of holding Kickstarter uh, to store them. Yeah, that's a big issue. Um, Alphox said, at a glance, they really ought to consider dropping that gimmick as it'll be very difficult with four play with more than two players. And this one, Sakura, we might check out the video just because um, if it doesn't show on the on here, it's sufficient. That's so weird. What? Robust structure, strong magnets, four teams. Yeah, I definitely want to go to the video for this just because it's just interesting. The minis look cool, though. They do look cool. One thing that we forgot to mention is um, one of our followers, Chalbert Stock, He's got wheels apparently, for that's cool. Apparently, back to project and back to second one to send to us and he said that if we can all successfully guess which game it was he will back another copy of it that we can do as a giveaway so start thinking of what what chalbert stop might have backed for us Think because about it. Uh -huh. Think about it. Um, what would he have done this is very cool are these like bad guys team nork sharks i think those are the different teams they have different oh they're all different mm -hmm. Ooh, this is interesting Let's you know, hold on, let's let's go up. Here, I'm sorry, I'm shutting the Let's go watch the video. Let's uh, let's put it on at least. Let's put it on for a minute. Let us know if you guys can hear this. Real yes, quick. please let us know if it's loud enough. Or if it's too loud. Newton Corporation welcomes you to the 25th edition of the Zero Gravity Tournament. The audience is going wild, and the hyper local gravity engines have just been turned on. Our famous teams will be contesting with each other for victory, led by their brave commander. Who is going to conquer the coveted flag? How many minions? Who? Alright, we will turn it up. Hold on. Uh, on P just popped in. Did I already miss Tiny Epic Max? You did. Yeah. That's the first thing we looked at. Sorry. So sorry about that. But go back and when you go back and rewatch this, it's the first thing we check out. So That is true. Team will be the How's that? Let us know. Newton Corporation welcomes you to the 25th edition of the Zero Gravity Tournament. The audience is going wild, and the hyper-local gravity engines have oh, just been turned says, on. Yeah, this is a relaunch. Our famous teams will be contesting with cool each now. other for victory, led by their brave commanders. Who is Thanks going so. to conquer the coveted flag? How many minions will be sacrificed? Which team will be the smartest? I feel like there's different teams. on the multiple sides of the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, and enjoy your fight. Zero Gravity is a Capture the Flag miniatures board game featuring a fully embedded magnetic system that allows miniatures to move freely in a three-dimensional arena. How does the magic work? The main board is made of two layers of cardboard with a thin this layer of magnetic sheet thing. in between, while each miniature has a square base with a steel adhesive sticker at the bottom. During every turn, you can use your end coins and energy to cast new champions and troopers, jump to other surfaces, or drop from the top to surprise and attack your opponents. Cool. The more you entertain the crowds, the more cheer points you will get. 
Eliminate your opponents, defeat the beasts, capture the flag, or make the bomb detonate to win. You can choose between four different teams. Hmm. The Moscow cool. Jackals, ready to set the whole arena on fire with their heavy weapons. The Nordic Sharks, half human and half fish, proud endorsers of their Viking roots. The Tokyo Demons, lethal cyborgs trained on samurai fighting techniques. The Milwaukee Eagles, modern Amazons ready to kill at first sight. But always pay attention, a cruel beast could be right behind you. Hmm. Inside the box, you will find a lot of incredible goodies. The unique 3D magnetic Ooh. board. All right, that looks so. interesting. I mean, that's interesting enough, at least. Yeah, I like this. Cool. You're trying to be entertaining, and I, I like that the different teams are just, they seem fun in terms of, uh, like, oh, these are half fish people, and they're yeah. Vikings, and I'm like, all right, cool. Like, it seems like if nothing else, they, they really bucks, put, though. they kind of went all in on, it's 90 euros. It's $104. Ooh. American. That's a lot. Um, That's cool, though. But hey, yeah, and I agree. Jobber said that would be hard to stream. Like, we'd have to create some sort of multi-camera. It, it, it seems like it'd be hard to play, but I mean, like, that's a game that's based on like some crazy gimmick, and I think you can get into it. And I think, if nothing else, it will provide a unique experience. But yeah, I think it'd be, it'd be tough, but it'd be very interesting. Um, it launches next, next. Uh, let's look more. Let's go down to the Artemis Project. This one um, has uh, a lot of Kickstarter hype to it, and the Bing Wongs have mentioned it before. Sure. First day funded. Hi. So what is this one? Thrive Repairs, the Artemis Project is a dice placement engine builder where you compete to build the best colony on Europa. So we're rolling dice. That's cool. 21 days ago. Already almost Crushing pretty good, doubled. yeah. Almost double. Okay. All okay. right. So two to four players, 60 to 75 minutes game design by Daryl Chow and Daniel Rocky. Rocky? Amazing art by Nomic. I mean, ooh. Ooh, a little under, underworld business. Ooh, I do like the board. The board is very pretty. Underwater. New Jedi sure. Brack, this one. Okay, okay. All right. It looks Let's good. See, there's I'll give one it that. sucker out there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, all right. The art's very Ooh. cool. I'm very excited. Dice placement. Outsmart your rivals with cunning deployment <clears throat> and master the risky exposure system to gain the upper hand. Resource management, harvest minerals to build your colony, energy to power it, and recruit colonists to keep it running. Engine building, construct the buildings to power your chosen strategy, but be ready to adapt as things can quickly change. Okay. Six rounds. I mean, I'm in love with I'm this. I'm digging with the dice oh, placement under spots. the ice and stuff. So is that what these would be down here? Yeah, I'm guessing that's all the dice places. Because I like dice because it's kind of like worker placement. You know, it's like they're, they're kind of one of the same, you know? Mm -hmm. But it... it, it, it it's also, you know, more of an engine builder. You're trying to get better spots. That's one thing I liked about Dice City as much as I'm like, I'm good off that game. But like, yeah, <clears throat> it's you're trying to upgrade your spots totally. to make, you know, for better totally. when you do roll it. Lunch just asked, are the rules downloadable? Um, they <coughs> probably have them somewhere <coughs> down here. Excuse me, guys. Something I'm throwing. And that's one thing. Most, most games now, they have the rules that are downloadable because like people want to be able to read the rules beforehand, yeah. which I think is cool. Very cool. Okay. Click here to see the working rule. Book. Cool. There you go. Uh, yeah, this one looks very interesting. Yeah, the academy. So there's different spaces, feeling crafty, clear the full print and play. Uh, okay. Does anyone do that? We've asked, I think, before. I don't think we ever. I, I, we should do a meta game minute, but I don't know if we've yeah. actually done it. I would never do a print and play. <laughs> no? Because it's just too much work. work. Yeah, yeah, just like, I just don't care that much. I'd rather just wait. Like, Because <clears throat> I guess if you read the rule book, you'll get a good enough idea. So it takes me to these colony mats, ocean building tiles. It's very, I think it's kind of engine buildery too. Surface building tiles. Yeah, I mean, that's what they say. And you got, yeah, that's it's cool. engine building, then resource this management. This one we might have to look at. This one we might have to look at. So again, so at the end of the stream, we'll do a poll to see what uh, we think. We'll pick like our top four, what we think Chalbert's not backed I feel for like us. this This is in the this, run. This is in the run. That's why, that's why I was bringing it up. So people start just putting your heads. What do what you think they might have... Um, mm -hmm. And the base game's only 55 bucks. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. So Awkbox says engine building gets my attention by default. For us, it's like work placement. Yeah. I'm going to be checking this one out. Um, but engine building gets my, my yeah. attention it's pretty good, of, too. It's a lot yeah. of overlap there. Um, Wizard Man did a print and play of Mintworks, Nick. Uh, and Smashback did a print and play of Five Minute Dungeon. Okay. And, and then uh, Diz is one for a Nacrity expansion. Cool. Ooh. Only 55 bucks. So we got a fifth player expansion already All unlocked, right. and uh, they got funded. So that's cool. Some event cards, some new event cards, expedition cards. See, this is I like these kinds of strike goals where it's like, hey, we'll give you a couple more events. We'll give it. It's not anything yeah. big. It's not anything that's like. Mm -hmm. uh, I just I don't know. 
So they got Blue Bit Pink Peg did a review. Okay, cool. Okay. Thought provoking dice placement, seasoned, and they did a whole meatloaf analogy. Uh, seasoned with a little take of that and paired with a glass of excitement. Artemis Project will leave you uh, full and keeping keep bringing you back for more. Great, now I'm hungry, they say. Uh, all right, so you're getting a little bit of love. All right, a lot cool. of reviews they put out there. Sweet. All right, Artemis that looks Project. very, very cool. Mark it, dude. Mark it as excited. Mark it as excited. Did we? What? Where are we? Where I'm sorry, go back up. And... Where are we? Okay. All right. So it looks like the next one is um, Z War One. Exodus. 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 And then the next one is the RPG for uh, Raiders of the North Sea kind of thing. I think. <laughs> Caden says I think the hubs will be interested in that too. Shoot, I didn't really didn't want to back anything tonight. Good. We're here to support capitalism. Damn it. Support capitalism. So yeah. See, Mint works as a, as a good well. print and play because that's a that's a teeny little it's thingy, teensy, you know. Man. <clears throat> oh, what's up, Abtrube? Up in here. Ab, 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 <clears throat> uh, all right, so Z War 1 Exodus. Exodus is a survival horror game for one to five players that combines intense tactical combat, resource management, and a comic book narrative. All right, so this has already crushed its goal. It's 15,000. Uh, it's a good point, Peter Newboom. I think this is actually Euros. I don't know what that is. Point is, it's made That's a lot pounds. more money than it's. Oh, pounds. That's pounds, yeah. You, right. So it's Britain fake that money. That one's crushing, yeah. Funded in two hours, man, from Sheffield, UK, of all places. Man, wow. Um, all right. All right. I mean, these these horror survival game. I'm just kind of like, so is, this, right. is this cool? I like the three. Is this 3D? Because this is sweet looking. It's a cool thing. I just, I'm so over this but kind it's, of game. Even you know? it's co-op? You're I'm like, more interested if it is co-op. I'm still kind of just like... I, I don't know. It's just it's a it's a theme that has been not completely run of the ground forever, but it's just I'm just kind of it's been done. Eh, it's been done. Know. Oh, by there's a drinking game going on, Mike. Yeah. Uh, again, every time you say cool, you go <laughs> cool a lot. Cool, man. So. cool, cool. Um, I have a limited vocab. Whatever. Uh, so Alex said this one had me puzzled because the thumbnail shows a 3D board game, but the components show a flat board. Go this looks see. like a rendering, so maybe this is, maybe, oh yeah. Maybe. Let's, go, let's see if we can find a board, though, flat. I mean, so got, got cool, ooh, wow. Ton of minis, That's weird cool. fish people. Submerged ravers. Ooh. Yeah, see, that looks like a flat board. Those look like zombie side mm, boards. Double sided boards. So then if it's really not 3D, I'm really kind of like, 30, 34 doors with stands, so there's at least 3D elements. Yeah. But even then, that kind of stuff, I'm just like, I don't. Print and play terrain. So oh. You okay, can make so your own terrain. So you can make your own terrain. That's yeah, what it is. That's cool. Is it zombies? Yes, it is. It looks like a wizard. Yeah, man. it looks like. What's that, uh, Pink and Manly? Uh, yeah. Yeah, zombies. Yeah, definitely zombies. Seekers and Reavers are creepy, man. These little fish dudes. And they're all rendering. Something you need to watch out for. That's a very good point, Lunches. None of these are real minis. These are all yeah. these are all 3D renderings. And the renderings are, like, fine, but I, I wouldn't uh, expect this to be, like, the highest level minis you ever got. No, no not, not that, that, like that. And is that's one thing. End all, be all. But no, like that's what we, I will get zombie fifteen. I was just like, Oof. yeah. After playing zombie side for so long, I was like, well, that sucks. And that's <laughs> one thing about, um, like, something like zombie side or like cool when you're not. It's like they're things you know. Those are all real models. They've already sculpted, made. Da 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 da. You know you're getting something. And there's a billion stretch goals. Again, this is one of these games that like all I would minis. never get. All minis. This is yeah. I mean, it, like, it's just be too much for sure. Like you're into this thing, cool, but like. Yeah, it's it's gonna be you're gonna get a heck of a lot of stuff, and you got to think of storage. You know, at the at, in the early days of our fandom of board games, we were all about it, and now we're like, dude, that just lives in the closet. All those unlockable zombie side characters, and, and every yeah. once in a while, I'm down to do a game like that, but it's it's yeah. very once every few years. And one thing, um, I can't remember who it said. Someone said, uh, "Open things in new tabs, so we don't lose our space." What? Oh yeah, you're right. Um, all right, so also. <laughs> Dude, Autumn Peace missing the Backstreet Boys shirt. Did you mess up? I know. I, I can't wear it every day. It's the issue. I mean, you could. You should. Um, okay, cool, cool. You got it, Chopper Stop. What? He said, I had to walk away for a few minutes, but I heard you talking about the vote. I will also have two clues I will shoot out whenever you ask for them. Okay. Now. <laughs> um, okay, so the next one is the North Sea Epilogues RPG. So this is the Raiders of the North Sea one, it looks like. Mm. 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 Uh, Wizard Man says, can't they do horror without the zombies? I, I agree. Apparently not. I agree. There's apparently lots of not. horror. Like, I, I mean, just, but the thing about that, look at that. That thing funded 
Oh, it, oh yeah. I get so why people like, do it for sure. It's why they make Grown Ups too. Why? Because the first one made a butt ton of yeah, that's money. That's true. You know? That's true. <laughs> and like, eh. Random question. I wish is, they would, though. Is Dark Tower from Restoration Games coming to Kickstarter? I am 99% uh, sure. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it will be, I'm sure. Yeah. So um, I don't say complete because we, we don't have any control of that, but 99% yes. So this is a New Zealand weird money. Uh,. Which is worth less than ours. <laughs> and Sakura said, backed it. I'm guessing she means this because Sakura is a big RPG fan. No, see. Oh, yeah, shall we stop? Ro- throw them out. This is Raiders of the Lost Sea world yeah. role playing game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, very that's interesting. Cool. Very, very cool. And All honestly, right. these kind of lighter role playing yeah. games that these companies are doing so now, dude. Smart. I want to play. Um, is this is Raiders of the North Sea Renegade? Who made Raiders of the North Sea? Yeah. It is? Pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. Cause they just had they just had Overlight come out too. Yeah. And like, well, this doesn't. I mean, I'm not seeing Renegade. This is okay. Chopper Sot said clue number one. It has not fully funded yet. So that takes out a lot of stuff. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay, and this has got a dope play map. Everyone keeps talking about the play map for this. Okay, let's find. Says so, so I just I back this for the game map, but not the RPG stuff. I'm so we got to find this game map. How do you feel about the Reds North Sea art? I like it. I like it too. Yeah, I think it's fun. Like, where is it? Yeah, it's just that kind of stuff. I do cool. like it a lot. I like it. it's not like not realistic, but it's not hyper realistic. Like, no, you know, no, it's no, kind I of cartoony, you, yeah. but not too much. Where's this play mat? I want to see, see the. I mean, that's the little divider is really cool. That is great. World building. Dive deeper into. Renegades the U.S. distributor. That's what it is. What's up, Racer? I saw you said that you're yeah, lurking earlier. Only... Oh, I love Chris E. I love Chris E. And then Chow Rasad said, clue number two, your shelf studio tour is what made me think you might enjoy it. <laughs> That's interesting. So it's not funded. And your shelf tour? Like the Tchotchke tour? Interesting. The Raiders play that. Ooh, wow. Oh, is the Raiders an RC play that? Oh, Wow. Y'all ask. So we listen. The playmap features the original board game elements of the base game, plus all additional elements from both Hall of Heroes and Field of Fame. They're pulling a. Uh, they're pulling a Champions Midgard. <sighs> that does look very pretty, though. That is pretty. Uh, we still don't have Raiders in North Sea, um, and that's one I actually probably would like to get. I like Walrus Man there. Um, pretty awesome. Damn, that is that is a nice. That is a nice one. This very looks very cool. cool. Sakura's so already in it, y'all. So oh yeah. At Dice Tower West, we can all get a session. New adventure module. New adventure module. Conquered all these things. Bam. Right on. The Tchotchke one. Okay, cool. The Tchotchke hmm. tour. Interesting. I'm so curious then. Hmm. Okay, cool. This looks awesome. He made a board game based on Roger. Okay. What's um, next? It's not new trump cards. Uh, obscene game for an obscene time. Yeah. Okay, so the next one's got some... Well, so we got a couple here, but none of them have been mentioned by the Bing Bongs. What's um, the Bing Bong? What's the next Bing Bong mentioned? Is uh, oh, Pearl Brook. Pearl Brook. Oh, wait, can I? That's, hey, that's where it started, man. What? That's where we started. Oh, whoa. Oh, do we loop around? Whoa. Whoa. What's up, Jabs? What? Hi. Paparazzo is on here. What's Pop? Let me see. A tactical drafting and set collection game for the entire family set in a colorful zoo. Oh, let's check it out. I kind of like that idea. I do have little game descriptions here, so we don't even have to click on it. I can kind of get an idea. Let's do this one a little, little, real quick. But right, so they're on their way. They're on their way to the the fundage. I mean, I'm digging this. There's this cool monkey. Jabulous! Man. Oh, Autumn, you're a freaking oh, genius. Jobs. Jabs is freaking jabulous. Jabulous day. Give us trump cards. No, nope. Won't do it. <laughs> Won't do it. I know it's probably silly and all parody ish. I'm digging the art. I like. I like the, the rip lion. <laughs> yeah, rip lion, buff ass. <laughs> Orangutan or whatever it is. Ooh, very pretty board. It's for a family. It's a like family way and stuff. Uh, so area control you type. It says it's a set collection game. Oh, okay. Drafting and set collection. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. Goal of the game is to score as many points as possible by taking the most valuable photos of animals and by expanding your group of tourists along the way. Gameplay is driven by drafting and playing action cards. Each of them offering a combination of the following actions: you can move, take pictures, kembe. Uh, in which you can control the escaped gorilla, send them to other players, blocking their opportunity to take photos and stuff. And you can expand your group and things. Is this really a game about taking selfies with animals? I think so. I think so. Hey, you know, I mean, it's paparazzi. Oh, oh, I get paparazzo. it now. That's cool. All right. Well, for oh, the whole yeah. family, why not, guys? Why not? Um. Okay. 
the next so yeah it is very very interesting art since Royal Fanders I agree it's uh, let's keep going it's down a little fun bit. with it I guess and why not you know ride share wars that's too much of my life <laughs> um let's go to let's go to game changer that was that's one that's on here huge four foot by six foot board gaming table and more well, I guess so he's like another little board gaming table the next one down there is Pearl Brook which will be next Pearl Brook Pearl Brook Pearl Brook so the gaming space, uh, gaming space is up to four foot by twenty. Jeez, at least four foot by twenty feet. That can't Jeez. be right. Uh, so this is already pledged its goal. Thirty days to go. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be huge. I mean, it's any so, game topper, game game table, all those kind of things are just gonna be huge. Let's get game topper, man. Yeah, I agree. Wait till game toppers. So like, what are these for? So this is a table topper. Oh man, see, you know, Berkey's onto something when other people are starting to copy it. 200 bucks. That's two foot by four foot table topper. Okay. Um, so this goes on top of your table? There's chairs. Game Changer Series chairs. Pair of Elite Series chairs. All right. Okay. So, so those are just game toppers. Okay. So someone just kind of. Game topper. Uh, so but it's the same not, thing Berkey did. Berkey just same did thing it first. Berkey did. Berkey's. Yeah. And Berkey's. Well, I don't like those, though. I don't like the rails. They go like over like over that. It. No, yeah. I don't want that. I, I like the ones that connect in there. I feel like those would get in the way. Because especially with the other ones, they don't get in your way your arm room when you're leaning like this. Potentially, yeah. That's yeah, yeah I don't mean. really like that. All right, but I mean, hey, you know, so 4x4 four four is 350 bucks. They're cheap. The point is it's good that more of these are becoming affordable, you know, for just the average folk. And then they have actual <laughs> game tables. Huh. Just shout us out said, I'm going to laugh if you find it and just dump on it and don't find it interesting. Also, he did say it's not, it's a game. It's not like an accessory or something like that. Okay. Um... <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I hope we would. I know. All right. Well, there's that. Let's go to Pearl Brook. Most Pearl of what I wanted. Is it Pearl Brook? Next to Pearl Brook. No, he says it's Pearl not an expansion. Brook. Pearl Brook. The first um, expansion for every. Day. Also, if anyone out there is is watching and joining, please feel free to give us a follow. We are very close to our next follow goal, like a goal that we have. And also, we're only, I think, five or six subscriptions away from 300 subscriptions. Pearl it would be Brook. super cool to meet. That oh, would be awesome. It met its goal. Yeah, by Pearl Brook times. by ten times its goal. My guess is you can also bat yeah, the, sure. the, 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 the normal game. game. Discover a new world under the river in Pearlbrook. The and it's also it's not funded yet. The child is not one. So. You're right. Pearlbrook. Uh, Grizzly Dizzy is making Brook. guesses. Says I, I was going to say rap gods, whatever that is, but so far from being funded, <laughs> we can take care of that. I want rap gods. Uh, super stoked for this expansion. Says Alk Fox. Same. Deep below the shimmering surface. Of the Pearl Brook River. Look at this little newt. It's across the back to it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Checks There's out. There's a mysterious water folk are waiting. You will be sending your amphibious ambassador on diplomatic journeys to trade information and resources with the river dwellers. Yeah. 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 Been there. 25 minutes. I guess Everdale can play pretty quick if everyone's. Uh, 25 minutes per player is not bad. It's 25 minutes per player. Makes more sense. Um, yeah, no way missing this one. So there's all these pearls. Oh, so this goes on the edge of the board. Ooh, a couple times. So you got this whole thing with, I guess, maybe different cards. Those pearls, you need bit trades for those things, man, I tell you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sunblaze Bridge. So you have a couple more spots you can go to. You've got frog ambassadors, one for each color, each player. Dab on it, crooky! Dab on it, crook, crook! Dab on it, dab on it, dab on it, crook, crook! Dab on it, crook, 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 crook! And so some folks boycott Starling Games. They Thank used to be crew. games, so they did used to be Game Salute. And, and they do seem to be trying to do a lot better than they were. Indeed. And that's really the only reason we support them is because they... Yeah. They seem to be changing chain around, but if they go back to their old ways, like, yeah, no, they're going to go oh, under absolutely. for sure. It's a short leash, but it's like, hey, if they do it, they learn their lesson, go go straight, yeah. you know, they learn, and then, hey, why not? Uh, thank you for that cheer, Crookles. Uh, super excited to see you on Sunday, dude. Dude, Otter Critter Meeples, yeah. take the money I don't even have. Snap, that's awesome. Well, I got 400 bits now. I'm going to get them Otter Critter Meeples. Yeah. So you can just play as otters now? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to all the fist fights <laughs> over the over otters. That yeah. crap. So 39 bucks plus shipping for the expansion. 65 for the game. That's one thing I'll say about Everdell is like... That's expensive, man. It's expensive. For you how really light of a game... You good components and stuff. Yes. And I'm just like, man. Come on, that is, that is the collector's edition. So it's 104 total. For it's, both. It's a really fun game and stuff. But that's one thing I'm like, oh, I wish they can get it under 100. 
for both. There you go. They're close. Hey, what are you going to do? But Cheeseman said, someone give me a sub. It had to keep it running. Did someone get them a sub? Are we not getting our sub alerts? Well, Mary, if they do the $1 ones, they don't come in. So if anyone's been get, doing subs, please put it in here if you've been doing the $1 subs because for whatever reason seems to not. Yeah, it does not It does not do the thing. Jive with our thing, but hey, machismo. Thanks, machismo. Thanks to the gift of subs. I think you got the $1 sub. Put it in the in the uh, chat if you did get it that way because we want to make sure everyone who has gifted a sub last uh, month, the, the second half of the month basically, yeah. can re-up for a dollar. A dollar. Uh, so go ahead and do that. Um, welcome to Pearl Brook. So it is. It is beside the main board. Yeah, very cool. Okay, can you go up real quick? Yeah. Back up to the components. How many cards do you get? I don't know. People are saying it's really expensive. It is kind of expensive. All you're getting is those boards and those couple extra spots for forty bucks. How many cards do you get? Scroll. Uh, Fifteen, 15 main, main deck it's cards. Twelve river cards. Yeah, it's not a ton. I this mean, it's not a ton. It's for pretty 40 component bucks. heavy though. It's a lot of components. Yeah, and that's these games are going to be expensive because of the components. And I don't really mind it. I think it's worth it. But that is for forty bucks. That's that's kind, kind of, of pricey. Expensive. That's kind of pricey. I mean, there's there's lots of games you can get full games for forty bucks. Yes. So stretch goals. So you got five more cards. Okay. See, this is one of the things that depending if this the other thing is like I don't think anything here is Kickstarter exclusive. But man, they they really like. They're really expect we're expecting to make a donut. Oh, now there's exolotl, exolotl critters, meeples. I guess those little newt looking things. All right, um, cool. Tournament uh, cards. It's a new card. new okay. card. Scorpion. I'm definitely digging that. Like for this, are. like stretch goals. Like just give us cards, cards, cards. But thirty thousand dollars for one card. That is a lot. Yeah. Score pad. A score pad would be nice. Yes. I would really like a score pad. That would be nice. Adorn a new card. 3D, 3D wonders. wonders. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. cool. That's kind of cool. Flat of Flat Critters! Take my money! Yeah. So that's and then awesome. more cards. More forest cards. I would love more forest yes. cards. Because that's Slug one of my favorite you. parts of the game is the fact that it's always different. Yeah. Enamel pins. That's right. I, just, I did see this. That's pretty cool. So right on, man. Like, I think if you like Everdell, it's worth the price. Uh, this is just a game that I wish was a little bit cheaper. But you do have really high quality components. Yeah. And... The we got the collector's edition, but the base game is almost as there's not much that changes. No, and so it's like you know they don't mess around. They make they make high yeah. quality stuff. So hey, we end it. Um, yeah, yeah, but I, I do love it. Uh, so uh, OCS one Specter Specter says I thought about backing Everdale the first time around, but I couldn't justify the price for how much I thought it might get played in my game group. That's definitely something to consider. You know, if you're gonna spend a hundred bucks, you got you you want to know it's gonna hit the table. Once yeah. in a while, at least, you know, so. Fun um, nine minutes, the Jasper. Shall we stop trolling? He's like, it's pronounced, oh, no, I guess you kind of did do it phonetically. I thought you just, like, wrote it out and was like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Axolotl, that's what I said. Uh, yeah. Didn't I? Axel Rose. Um, Axel Rose. So the Jasper from BoardGamingTables.com, this is their next Kickstarter. They're only doing this table, I think. But um, it's made almost 600 grand, so it's Jeez. doing just fine. But their it was like, 600 bucks. For, but it's a full out table with the leaves on that's top because nice. that's one thing about like a game topper or a, a whatever that that other game topper thing was that we looked at a couple seconds ago it's like there's not this where you can turn it into a dining room table and that's something I wish Berkey would add to game toppers I think I think that is his goal that's my hope to do yeah. that. it's just come down the road so Crad K says I back this it's my wife and I's fifth anniversary happy Ooh. anniversary and the fifth anniversary is the wood anniversary so is that a right? wooden gaming table I like the way you nerd down that I is awesome bet. I respect that so this much. is cool I've heard that um, I think uh, B Danger has a boardgametables.com table and it, it uh Looks nice. It, it really looks cool. They, they're good, and they are cheaper than something I, like a, a like, Beacon Sun or something like that. I like this better than the other company. I like Jasper better for sure. Lots yeah. of options. Yeah. So it's this. I love that fact that the you can whole, make it a table. Yeah. Game living underneath is so cool. Oh, it's eight ninety eight if you want the top for it. That's interesting, uh, Garth. That's a lot more money, man. That is a lot different. And to me, unless you have a dedicated gaming table, which a lot of people don't, you really need the top. Yeah. Sorry, I clicked off. Do you need that? No, you're good. Right. I was going to say, it was cool. They showed like a little gif of like all different games laid out, like just, you know, outlines and stuff to show how they'd fit on the table. Oh, that's kind of cool. Really cool that's nice. <clears throat> What's next on our list, sir? Next on our list, uh, we have a couple different things. <laughs> Crack A says, yeah, full custom tables are so expensive. They are. I mean, but that's why I like things like this where they're trying to keep the price down. 
game toppers tries to keep the price down you know they're not cheap but they're cheaper than yeah three grand for like a tiny little take you know it's 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 frustrating though because it's like look i understand craftsmanship and all that but it's a table at the end of the day yeah. like it should not be five thousand dollars table it's a table like, come on like you want people to buy it and then you know uh was it geek chic or whatever Ge- yeah, Geek Chic. Went out of business because yeah. it's, like, unaffordable. It's yeah. like, well, how... <laughs> yeah. And then, um... And then, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Craig just said, I just want to be able to pause the games while I parent. And exactly, hey, you just put the toss back over. It's huge. Cassie draws. What's up, Cassie? Oh, what's up? What you up doing, with? girl? What you doing? She said, hot. He's in the... Um... <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, and then Cheesema said, I saw the Wormwood tables at Gen Con. It was super nice, but the price is just too much. Yeah, Wormwood. I mean, Wormwood, even the little yeah. box is like 200. They're so... <sighs> yeah, it's like, come on, man. There's, there's these zero... I'm going to swear a little bit. There's zero bucks coins. Have a nice day, asshole. That's pretty awesome. Why not? Little things to pass around between, you know, players and stuff throughout the night. Maybe you can hang on to them and stuff. Indeed. Uh, Cassie draws. We're doing well. We're doing so well. Good. Oh, what? Dan, Dan, what? Dan, Dan, what? Dan, 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 Cassie, oh, Cassie draws. draws. Yeah, girl, Cassie. Uh, Cassie draws, man. Give that subscription. You've been getting that subscription. On it. On it. Whoa. With the, with the, uh, the emotes. Oh, you just the get the subscriptions now. Oh, we're good. We're good on your Kickstarter. Seeing all the board game uh, campaigns that are out. Indeed. What are you up to on this Friday night way up north? Indeed. And, and with that subscription, people, we are, I think, at this point, four or maybe five subs away from 300. So it'd be super dope to get that tonight. We're so close. <laughs> Dude, so close. Come on, man. <laughs> We're so close. All right, so sorry, what's the next one on the um, Horizon Dawn is what it looks like. It's next, next that the, the people have talked the about. The rookie has asked, have you checked out Horizon Zero Dawn? That's what, that was next, brother. That's what you just said. That's what I said, As rookie. I was saying it, I was just like, Whoa. Listen. That's what Nick was saying right now. Where is it? I don't know. Does it count another sub if I upgrade tiers? I don't believe so, Autumn. I don't believe so. Ooh. Where is the... the, the, the ah, here it is. It will count for our, like, uh, sub points. We'll, it'll be worth more for that. But no. Yeah. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said it before, though. So I went. <laughs> so <laughs> Pure Cooking straight up saying Horizon's not going to be worth it at all. Ooh, Ooh Pure Cooking. Pure Cooking. Hey, Crookie, that fight words, folks. Dropping some heat. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> They've hit their pledge. <laughs> wow. 1.1 mil. Okay. Ooh, Hunt girl. in a distant... Fu- so, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Just, Hunt in a distant future where machines roam wild and mankind is no longer the dominant species. Species. In partnership with SIEE and Gorilla. Okay. Lunch, as you said, we had a custom dining table made four by six and a half, and it's gorgeous. It was 400 bucks. Yeah. There you go. Honestly, if you want a dope-ass game table, contact a local carpenter. They could probably do it, and it's, it's great. <laughs> Crook, Crook's back pillow now. <laughs> it's just it's like... Uh, it's game where the people made Dark Souls like, but the game probably butt cheeks, but it looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I've never so referred to as something gonna it's be very butt cu- cubicle box. It's a very cubicle. Cube well, it has three looks like three proper board game boxes within it. Yep, sure. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, minis. We're seeing minis already assigned. Uh, Again, these looking games. I'm always just like, I just feel like there's so many. Like, oh, it's these mobs. Dungeon I don't know. Crawley, I'm just, sort of. I feel like I'm just so over these. I think it's because over the time we've become Euro games. And these kinds of. I'm just like so not. This that is one thing that's these. great, and we were talking about. It's like that's why I love having Crook in our life. Yeah. Is that because he exactly. might get this, and then we can play it. It's true. And so it's like best of both worlds, man. So it looks like it's a hundred bucks. It's not bad for me. That's actually not that bad. That's actually not that bad. Uh, Cassie Draw says, I'd be so lost playing these. No way. Nah, you'd be fine, Cassie. Be fine. I promise you. you smart. They look crazier than they are. The rule set a lot of times is not too much. Yeah. Plus, you're real smart, though. Usually, it's just roll dice and punch stuff. I mean, who can't get behind <laughs> Roll dice and punch stuff and the dick. <laughs> this, I mean, they look they're like, weird. Oh, yeah, they're all like mech animals. They're weird. That's pretty cool, man. Cassie, you're welcome. Come, come back from, where do you live? Uh, just drive over. You live in Morocco or something? I don't You're know. on the border that people are less worried about, so just come on over. Okay. I mean, this game, uh, this is, again, a Kickstarter type game. This game is like yeah. wild. And these are dope looking. I'll give that. Oh, they are wild. A, a dope. Back. Um, yeah. Outfox said, I feel like this is super high simply from the video game crowd going nuts over. Of course, that's why Dark Souls did like the biggest Kickstarter ever, was for that exact reason. Um, you mean Canada? Canada? Yeah. Canada. I mean, I get. Yeah, thank you for spacing it out because we have banned that word in our chat. So, <laughs> uh, just responds with no. 
<laughs> no. Right now. Right now. These are all the stretch goals that they've unlocked. Okay. Again, tons of stuff. But these look like real minis, which, again, makes me think that it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, the minis and stuff are cool. I mean, look at all these stretch goals. I mean, it's nuts. This crush. is the amount of classes you get. Crush. Back in. Oh, 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 I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. What? Oh, look at Cassie dropping them bing bongs in that I'm chat, though. Dude, this is. Cassie freaking draws. Fat, Those are man. large. Holy crap. Pretty fat, Ed. Mikey. Yo. Um. I mean, yeah. Okay. Next one on our list is football highlights. Whatever, whatever, oh, yes. whatever. I'm very excited. Very interesting. Something is wrong here. Role playing game. <laughs> Role football playing game. 2052. Yeah, girl. Uh uh, 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 Alexander says, "Wait till you arrive at the add-ons that are more expensive than the game." Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, Chalberstadt. At any point, if we go and then Chalberstadt. miss, if we we don't guess and stuff, come, you can always let us know. Like, hey, you missed it. So then we at least know it's a game that we've already talked about. In terms of the one he's trying to get us to guess. I guess. Can you grab your phone? There should be a uh, guessing game. Wizard Man, don't yeah, lie. Like, you like, meant. Usually, Wizard. I thought the code was going to get sent to you. It's Wizard like, Man. Okay, so Football Highlights 2052. Mike. Already not that interested. Not interested? I just. I don't, I'm pretty interested. I'm just. I'm, I don't know. The football, the football is not nearly as interesting to me as baseball. Indeed, but this might make it interesting. Because, like, it, you have to base it off of, like, how great baseball highlights is. I, that, that's the thing. That's why I'm even interested at all. We're talking about Stalin Canadians. Here's the thing. Dan, 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 Dan. There, there it is. That'll get us 300. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, sir, for that. Thank you to Dredo. <laughs> Our Mujeda is coming up next. Alcox. <laughs> and there it is. And there's Oh, oh, Mujeda. Mujeda, baby. That oh. is putting it. That puts us over it right there. Awesome. That puts us at 302. Oh, two or damn it. Wow, thank you. Thank you. You've been subscribed. Slivers, you beautiful bastard. You beautiful bastard. You beautiful uh, bastard. We got what? two more. Right? Whoa. Oh, oh, side two more. Side 302, that is wild. <laughs> that is cool, man. That's awesome. Yes, we are at the goal. Damn, here's the thing, though. Damn, here's the thing. I'll take 100 more. I'm, I'm not, I'm, let's get 400 tonight. We can get 400. We can get 400. No, uh, thank you so, so much. I, we really, really appreciate it. Guys. Ready for this. Oh, you just get these subscriptions now, huh? Now I'm Good on you. That's very exciting. That's very exciting. And here's the thing. Yes, we can always get well beyond it because, you know, every day, maybe there's someone who watched us once, got a gift, something, and forgot about us, and so that's going to go away. That number is very... Yes, ever it'll like, be damn on it. almost guaranteed tomorrow, damn on it, we'll be under 300 again. But the point is, we are here today and now, and we are over 300, which is super exciting. So thank you so much. Thank you everybody. so much, everyone. We really, 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 really appreciate and Spectre it. Spectre made it an interesting point. I have to say, I think it's the first time I've heard anyone say baseball is more interesting than football. I, honestly, uh, I don't think it's more interesting than football. Yeah, I just like yeah, it more than football. Yeah, it always is. 100%. It's not more interesting 100% than football. 100% of the time. Objectively, it's less interesting than football. No. Because yes. it's delicate, subtle, and beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's subtle and delicate. No. I like baseball way more. That's my thing. Because it's America's pastime. <laughs> okay, so this is baseball or football highlights 2052. And yeah, so many people it's like leather helmets in 2052. Well, maybe it's like, you know, it's like Let's nanotech. Uh, uh, two, you can solo it or two... Or four players. I'm guessing so it's two players. Similar, yeah. similar uh, thing. Scroll them down. They did fund, right? So I don't think this is the game that Shawbert Stott is meaning. No. Nah. Uh, okay, by late 2020s, football attendance was in a steep decline. Of course. Which is like. Because everyone started watching happy. crazy baseball. Because this is before yeah. the. This is after the baseball. When, uh, when baseball started tinkering with changes in 2030s, which resulted in an explosion of popularity in 2045 as baseball highlights, football knew it had to go big or go home. It's true. So they live in the same world. Okay, I like that. Okay, this might be one So what's the gameplay? I'm curious little... about that. So 95 card deck plays consisting of four, five, four five-card star player teams. 
Um, and then four 10 card uh, team play decks to go with the star. So I guess you have stars and then the rest is just a bunch of players. Mm. So you have play mats. I'm guessing it's yeah. react action reaction stuff, kind of like the other one. Let's go to the video and see if there's any gameplay stuff. Yeah, this is a video I'm actually curious, because this is one I'm, because I just, I love baseball highlights so freaking much that like. Yeah. It has some big shoes to fill. That's the thing. That's why I'm kind of yeah. like, ah. Uh. Yeah, who knows if it can get there, but like, I don't know. That also gives Are you me ready for some football? Welcome to today's brief play by play introduction to Football Highlights 2052. In this game, Jim has chosen to play Dallas, and Dave will be playing San Francisco. That's right, baby. Dallas is the visiting team and will begin with the first card play. Jim decides to start with a bold play by Tony Smith, threatening a long counter run. Dave responds with San Francisco's Vernon Gore. His flex defense limits Dallas's gain to 10 yards on the counter run. Dallas is on the move to the San Francisco 35-yard line. Now, Jim clears Dallas's offensive play, and Dave turns his card around to offense. Vernon now threatens oh, a hook and lateral gadget run play. play. Cool. I'd like to point out to new viewers that players are on the field the entire game, playing both offense and defense. That's interesting. Jim responds with Herschel Hill, who has a weak defense for this play, Similar as it only matches the type of like play, but doesn't match up the area so. of field. Now San Francisco's on the move with an impressive 25-yard so gain to the Dallas 20. Dallas will flip theirs Dave around. Dave San Francisco's offensive that one will go card, away. and Jim turns his card around. Herschel and then you play another card. Trap That's interesting. They respond back to the right. flip, they respond You can see how Herschel makes up for his weak defense with an impressive offensive run ability. Let's see how Dave handles this. Dave goes for a backfield tackle with Jimmy Nomalini, but this strong defense just can't handle both of Herschel's run options. Although Jim has a choice of either play, it is much better to select the undefended trap for a gain of 20 yards. Well, just depending this where brings the Dallas is, all the way to the San Francisco down. 15. Jim clears his offensive play, and Dave turns his card around and threatens an off-tackle run. Jim responds with and Tony Meredith, who has a crushing no-gain rush to shut San Francisco down. Not only is there no gain right. on the play, but this San Francisco must I mean, now end this offensive I'd probably have drive. To he must clear get all in my hands of play. I'm, I'm and curious. I, I'm, to the Dallas 45. During the game, each team okay. gets four plays. And an I'm interested. Huh. Not have to back it, but interested for sure um yeah all foxes i love that 90s video game like introduction totally agree we had oh, yeah this uh it was a high impact football yeah high impact football that's what it was game for super nintendo that we love playing and it's very much all of that and just silliness yeah um call great soccer's the worst no i like soccer a lot <laughs> yeah man slivers hating that so <laughs> Game Boy Geek did a preview of this game. Okay. Okay. I'll look. We'll look at it then, because I'm curious about it. Well, it's got six days to go. All right. I just, I just like. I don't know. I, I'm curious. I, I, I don't really know what to, what to think. Lunch is war. It's war. Yeah, it's a variation of kind of war. It's you know, hoping to have the higher thing, but it's this whole like, reacting and acting at the same time thing. It's you know pretty groovy. Yeah. So cool. All right. The the inter the the gameplay as as OC Spectre just said does sound very interesting. Yeah, I like the flip and depending on where you have you know your because you're your essentially playing two turns things. in a row, which is interesting because you have your defense yeah, and you also so you play react offense, and then you you know which is interesting. I'm very I'm I'm curious. Um, Spectre says it seems really interesting gameplay. I wonder how much thinking ahead is needed. I mean, you can think ahead to a degree, but you don't. It's only in the immediate. You're kind of. It's similar to, I think, baseball highlights. I mean, I, I'm curious if it's different enough to warrant having both or if it's just kind of... Uh... Yeah, that's what I was my worries. Is, is it going to play similar enough? It seems fairly similar. I mean, yeah. But I like all like moving down the fields. I mean, that's really interesting. It's really, very I, interesting. I, I definitely would love to play it. Oh, yeah. I definitely would love to I'm play very, it. I'm very, very curious. Very stuff. curious. Very cool. Okay, looks up next. We got Gem Hens. This is something that the, the Bing Bongs here have have. I love you guys so much. Gem Hens, real time dice rolling extra extravaganza. I'm so excited. <laughs> I hope this is not backed. Oh my god. Shall side. Is it Gem Hens? Is it Gem Hens? <laughs> Hold on. We can't. We, no, we're going to do a poll at the very end of it. No, it's going to be Gem Hens because we're going to be based off our turkey. If I'm right, you're impressed. I'll bet you it's Gem Hens. I'll bet you it's Gem Hens. <laughs> Wait, and it was based. Oh. Because we got the turkey, the whole turkey, turkey. I'll bet you it's gem heads, fool. I'll bet you. <laughs> I, oh, I'd yeah, rather that's I interesting. Hope it's gem heads. Can you chicken lay the fanciest egg, Nick? A real-time <laughs> dice-rolling game about feeding 
gems to your price, chicken. Eat the freaking like, rubies! the most, like, just, we woke from a dream and, like, wrote down a bunch of stuff. This is the game that would I'm be. already with it. Go down. I'm already with it. Gemin. Can you coax your chicken to the right gems in order to lay the most valuable egg? Uh, Gem Hens challenges you to do just that. It's not uh, so simple, though, as your opponents are also trying to make the best eggs. And this is a chicken eat gems world out there, dude. It's a chicken eat gems world, people. Uh, so you get, you get the game for 30 bucks. All the exclusives that any of the unlock stretch goals. I mean, it looks looks cool. It's from Gray Fox, too. This is a little, uh, really? That's what, said. That's what Smash Bros. Yeah. said. This is from Gray Fox Games Family Weight Group. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, um, so you build this kind of Fabergé egg type. Yeah, yeah. Thing okay, so you get a yard board, twelve bucks, power bad. cluck cards, four Thank egg god. boards. Thank God. Scoring uh, table and an egg timer. Come on, thirty-two action <laughs> dice, eight per color. God, I hope it's this one. Um, okay. Are you going green gems of eight types? Embroidered bag. I mean, it looks like the components are solid. And it's real time too, which is interesting. Yeah, I'm very curious about that. Roll. Uh, so let's see what it says here. Let's see. Roll your dice in real time to lock in the moves you want to make for the round. Okay, so you can kind of like place them all out. Next, roll your sixes in order to determine turn and power cluck drafting order. <laughs> Come on. Roll that on a shirt. Power cluck Come drafting on. order. And roll to determine where the gems will be placed in the yard. Finally, move your chicken based on your dice rolls that you set in step one and try to collect gems you need. So you're kind of like moving around and getting gems and things. Interesting. The player that lays the most <laughs> valuable egg wins the game. The rule book is quite the gem. Don't just wing it. I love it. I'm all in on this. <laughs> this is like, just saying, Chow Rosal's being real quiet right now. <laughs> <laughs> Chow Rosal has not said a single word. All right, this will be on, this will definitely on the poll. Gem hands. <laughs> all right, so let's see. They'll get two exclusive power cluck cards at 6,000 if they get there. They need 3,000 to fund. Then more stretch goals down the road. I mean, how much time they got? How much time? How much they got? How much time? How much time? Five, Five days. days to go, people! They'll get there. They only need a couple hundred bucks left. Uh, Craig asks, is this going to be a weekly thing? It's nice in this game of Kickstarter. It's going to be every other week. Just because every, every week, it, there probably be enough stuff to keep it fresh. Um, so it's going to be every other week. Um, mm -hmm. So please be here two Fridays from now because we'll be back here again. Indeed. Dude, Crook is just over here flattering straight up. So it's like a stream of just looking at your beautiful faces. He's like, don't make don't make yourself bigger. You want to be clear. I'm really glad that keep it small. Was there's on just here. less distraction. I hope. It's Jemens. I don't know. I feel pretty good about All that. All right, we're gonna get to um, we're gonna get to uh, I I feel it's Jim Um, we're gonna get to uh, something that um, Sakura has asked for. Diffusion dies from four roll four initiative. Foodie kitchen diffusion dice diffusion dice. Yeah, diffusion dice from four. Tiny takes little game of huge fun. Diffusion dice. Yeah, dice from roll four initiative. All right, let's take a look. Oh, these are just dice. Oh, ooh, they're very beautiful. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought this was a game. Um, wow. Okay. Okay. Let's see what they got. <laughs> Micro brew if we haven't. I don't think we have. We can. Uh, it's, it's down here. Where we haven't got to it yet, but we will. It is Reavers of Midgard on it? Uh, Reavers of Midgard? Show the damn dice! There's Bloodstone Cherry Blossom. This is Bloodstone. By the way, if you want to see our um, the, the spreadsheet I'm going off of, go Dig. to our Discord. Dig a Cherry Blossom. Boom, right there. And you can be looking at the same one I have. So you might be able to check to see if it's on there. These are cotton gold smoky cotton. Who's gold? These are very beautiful colors. Oh, I don't know. Just... Right, what was it? Ravagers? Rav Rav Reavers of Midgard. Oh, it's not on Kickstarter yet, I don't think. So it's oh, okay. okay, got it. All right, cool. The views are very pretty. I, I'm, I'm getting more and more into like, let's fancy let's dice. See, let's see. So 19 bucks or more sampler. Backers at this level will receive their choice of either two standard sets or one extended set mm. of diffusion dice from all initial and unlock stretch goal colors. Uh, this is beautiful, man. Especially if you're in D&D &D, you know, and want to get oh, a, yeah. a cool set. I mean, these are very cool. The, I, I like the cherry blossom. I think it's beautiful, man. Travis Hudson, yeah, sorry, I've been good. listening. I'm alone with the kids tonight, so you might not want to read too much into me being quiet. That's something that what someone who backed a chicken game would say. Yeah. Put it out there. Um. All right, Mikey, and then so pass through volume about thirty percent too loud on that. Okay, I'll turn down our volume. Well, over. but that just that video was louder. That than was the other too, one, yes. so like we can't. We'll just leave it where it is, and then we'll. I'll try to turn down if it seems like it's louder. I see. I just see. Just because. Yeah. 
you know, I don't know if that other one was quieter than the average or that was standard and these guys were loud, but thank you for the <laughs> well, just like lively story. Um, yeah. Okay, Mike, it looks like um, the next one that the, the people have mentioned, and keep in mind, we're mostly focusing on the ones that you all have mentioned before. So in the Discord and such, make sure to mention Kickstarter stuff for the next time because we will prioritize the ones you have talked about. What are we looking for next? The next one, it looks like Dark Domains is the next one the Bing Bongs have mentioned. The Dark Domains. And again, if something like if we're scrolling past something, everyone's like, wait. We'll go like, back. Feel free to say so, but we are trying to stick to things that people say, have hey, mentioned before. You goddamn Bing Bongs. <laughs> oh, we've only been to, oh, we've been streaming for an hour. Wow, it feels longer than that. You all bore me. Feels that's what so I got. Much. That's what I'm getting at. Feels so much. That's what I'm getting at. Find it in 11 hours. You seek the favor of the ancient necromancer. However, there can be only one. The follower of the most darkness in their heart. That box is pretty. That box is beautiful. Just the the, the, the difference in yeah. the, the light is super pretty. Really pretty. Wow. Pretty box on this one. Yeah, Alc Fox. I was just saying that. Yeah. Listen well, my eager children. Gather eight T thousand dollars by the end of September 19th and I shall grant unto thee powers to aid in achieving our nefarious plans. So you're playing evil people. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Two to five players. Two oh, I see. hours. It's a big one. That's pretty good, yeah. It's a big one. Caden, so we back this one. Looks neat. Yeah, beautiful. Dessert. Thank God you're here. Oh, dessert. I'm so... Can Can you give me a brookie? I really want a brookie. I really want Froyo. Cool. I guess I just want lots of stuff. I don't know. Uh, okay, so... Uh, Very pretty. Uh, uh, pledge of 65 or more will give you uh, Acolyte of the Necromancer. Add up to two more copies of the game for 65 each. So 65 gets you the game, it looks like? Yeah, I'm guessing so. Dark Domain's base game and all unlock stretch goals for that. Uh, I mean, this looks beautiful. Yeah. Strong Arm says table space is an issue for, for that. Yeah. One. Wait, one hour hook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is a competitive worker placement game. Yeah. Yeah. You've read the forbidden texts yeah. and ancient scrolls in the library of Shadden Council. Uh, and you know, glorious eternal undeath awaits the noble who corrupts the shining city of Harrow's. Um, cool. Competitive work placement, two to five players. That is the perfect melding of classic Euro mechanics and strong dark fantasy theme. I'm uh, getting cool. excited. What else we got down there? I don't know. I mean, look at the board, though. God, that's it's pretty. Very pretty. Very pretty art. Very pretty. Seems like so Good box. Like, worker placement. Interest yeah, peaked. Like, yeah, Alc Fox, I hear you, baby. Yeah, yeah. Five domain player mats. It looks like maybe you get cards and you build out like a little different world. areas. Okay. Or do you have torn company adventurer cards. All right. Ninety six spell cards. So we got some magic attack spells, control spells, production spells, defense spells, monster tiles, henchman cards, tokens. Three hundred and twenty one tokens. By Jesus. the way. Jesus. <laughs> Seventy five building cards. Okay. Ooh, this is gonna be a wow. hog. That is gonna be a hog. Yeah. 24 building tiles. Okay, a bunch of crap, guys. A whole hell of a lot of crap. And then dice. Interesting. Wow. Played a series of turns. Each turn is divided into eight phases. Ooh, this is a big one, guys. This is a big un. It, it almost feels like two hours seems too short. <laughs> like, for something this big? Like, this yeah. seems really massive. I, 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 my interest is peaked for sure, I'm guys. picking dead. I'm picking. Uh, so you got lots, lots of cards and things, lots of cards. So that's exactly what I'd want in the search goals. Cards on cards on cards on cards on cards on cards on cards. So is this going to be a big box? Do they fit into all the regular boxes? As far as I can tell, they're, they're um, I don't know. Might be it's just, Alex, it's too awesome for the setup. Yeah, yeah, that's what it seems like. I'm just like, snap. Yeah, that's wild. That's, that's, I mean, that's big, though. That's a, that's a pretty much that's your night type situation. Like that's that's when we hit a crookie. Hey, we're coming over in an hour. Get get going now. Yeah. Go down to the conference room, set and it up. So as lunch is kind of just said, yeah, it may be like when you when you know the game more, it gets out of two hours. But man, that seems like a big game. <sighs> yeah, that seems okay. like a, that's your night type thing for the first go, the first go of it. But I mean, it definitely looks pretty. Uh, I mean, the whole get out of here. shoe fly don't bother me. This fly has been in this house. Just go away. Yeah. You leave the doors open. It just likes likes living here. Um, the parts for each turn are mostly short, at least. Yeah, with eight phases, I assume that each one each phase is a rather quick. It's like you know, feast for Odin. There's like thirteen phases, but only one is really where you're doing the stuff. Yeah. Anyway. That's it. So apparently, Dan Bill said, "Yeah, hey, mine too, Daddy. Those are the ding dongs. Yes, honey. We are called bing bongs. <laughs> it's very true. I love it. Good. All right." 
<laughs> yeah, so. bing bong jackasses. Yeah. A couple of jackholes, whatever you want to call us, man. It's dark That's, domains. Very yeah. interested. Very interested. Very interested. Sixty-five bucks. I mean, that seems like a good value. If nothing else, you get a lot of stuff for sixty-five bucks. Okay. I don't know. All right. So the next one that was been mentioned was microbrew. Microbrew. Okay. Someone yeah, just asked for that. Uh, Two-player puzzle slash worker placement hybrid. That's in a tin. Little well, tin. Well, we can get over the tin part, but the tiny tin, like little. Like a... I'm very excited again. Uh, real quick, Spectre says when I originally looked at Dark Domains, I liked the art, but didn't have enough time to see what the gameplay would be like. Yeah, I mean, I guess yeah. worker placement. I mean, I don't know. We obviously don't know much more than that, but the art is compelling. Worker placement is usually a uh, all good in our book type sitch. Go up real quick. What? Go up real quick. It's eye for an eye. Interesting. All right, there you go. Opulent Arena Combat Board Game Relaunch. Okay. All right. What am I looking for? Microbrew? Microbrew. That Nanny Narking, that's another Brian, Martin Wallace game that's oh, getting Nanny, like brand. Nan like, that's a brass. He did that. Yes. Oh, but uh, why did I hear about this? Summer's Isle looked cool, too. I think I was up a little bit, Mikey. What was it? Summer's Isle? Go up more. More? Right there. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. Very pretty, very pretty. All right, real quick. Summer Isle, then we'll go, then we'll go hit micro brew. So this quick. one's at twelve thousand off its six thousand goal. Summoner's Isle is a, a contest of strategy, area control, resource management, and cunning. Do you Contact. know what it takes to be a summoner? We are going to have lots of cunning. Okay, 40, 60 minutes, two to four players. Cool little board there. Uh, double sided game board. That's cool. That's right on. A couple different looks. Three to four, four player game board. As well, so there's a two-player. That's nice. We do an area control, and they have their own stuff for di different player counts. Make sure that they kind of keep the same thing. Uh, little tokens and stuff, counters and dice. Cool beta rulebook can be found online. Gameplay. Summer's Isle is a game of area control, resource management with elements of luck and cunning. From Form uneasy alliances, time your strikes well, and maybe you will take the mantle of summoner for yourself. Hmm. To win, you must attain energy. You do this through battle. Uh, through your creatures and by dominating territories. However, summoning creatures costs energy, so managing your reserves will be vital. Each round is broken down into three phases. Cool. You can summon stuff, actions, energy. This to me seems like too much of Archmage for, like, we happen to have Archmage. I'm like, oh, I'm good. Like, it's area control totally, to be a good yeah. summoner. But that, that, it looks cool. So people are saying uh, Nanty, whatever it's called, is from Ankh Moor Park, which is the... Uh, yes, it's yes. the re-theme of yeah. that. I just read that and I was just like... Why is that name in my head? It's just, yeah, now it's instead of Discworld, it's that. Um, all right, let's go find Microbrew, because I'm, I'm cursed about that. Yeah, I'm about to let, let, what? i make sure we're just, yeah, we're going to lose. Microbrew. Micro, micro. Brew your micro. Ooh, full-size game and aboard a tiny tin. Love it. Ooh, I'm very excited. If this one isn't, let's see. Well, this one's pledged, man. This ain't the one. Two-player puzzle slash worker placement hybrid where you lead a team of artisan brewers trying to win customers with the most tasty beer. Most tastiest of all bears. Uh, yeah, I'm digging the art. Digging the art. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, 15, 20 bucks. 20 bucks American, baby. Okay. That's a good price right there. Hey, 45 to 60 minutes. All right. Interesting. Tiny game, but it's actually going to... gonna. Tesla Pigeon, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> With two tens, you can play up to four players. It's two players, which I think is Whoa. really cool. Okay. Whoa. Uh, the brewmaster of the Tiny Tin Brewery. See, the puzzle, that's the thing I'm interested in. It's a puzzle game. Uh, the, the, the brewmaster of the Tiny Tin Brewery has challenged you, leaders of their two newest brewing crews, to a brew off. Who will create the tastiest beers and win the most loyal customers? Only one way to find out. Ready, set, brew. Microbrew is an innovative medium weight worker placement puzzle hybrid that fits right in your pocket. I'm sold. Microbrew is an award winning board game design originally okay by a 2017 Mint Tint competition on Board Game Geek. I love that. That's that's cool. We need more of that, man. Because if, if if we get a steady stream of like one good Mint Tint size game a year, that's gonna yeah. go a long way for the hobby, man. Guest judge Justin <laughs> Blask. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you get 48 malts Very cool. for making deliciousness. It looks like probably got to get different ingredients. Get hops to, and stuff. Yeah, Very cool. Yeah. Brewers, valves, brewmaster, and cash. 
Whoa, 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 okay. Customer cards, recipes and reputation. Awesome. Copper kettles, all right, so you're filling out stuff. I mean, it seems like you're trying to get the right pieces at the right times, put together the right, uh, uh, brews and stuff. The only issue is there's literally a video right here that's like, this is how you put this away. That concerns me a little bit. Yeah, you can't just throw them all in it any which way because it won't fit. Which is probably easy, but um, it's definitely the second tightest pack game we've ever seen. Curse you, Tim Fowers. <laughs> we've done science to check it, sort of. Uh, puzzling. So the brew is complete, and this column is now washed. So if we take a brew action bottle, and we're kind of in the middle of this, but I'm curious. So, oh, all right. So do you have to like almost like Chinese checkers it where you skip stuff to go around or something? I oh, guess. Yes, Model action complete. Our beer is going. So we need to match a column of these with the pattern on that. So it's time to take a brew action. Okay, so you're trying to figure out how to move things around and all that. So I okay. guess that's a puzzling nature. I'm into that. I'm into that. And you place workers to do different things like manage and mash and brew and all that jazz. Cool. Definitely into that. Love Purple it. versus blue. The colors are on point. Uh, you can choose an action the opponent is on, but they get their worker back to use again. So there's a little bit of that. It's like, well, it's going to extend your turns and stuff. Uh, okay. I'm definitely into it, man. 20 bucks could definitely get into yeah, it. Yeah. That ain't bad. Very cool. And how much time do we have to think? Um, we've got 16, 16 days. All right. So maybe by the next one of these, we'll be desperate and be like, I'm going to get it. Yeah. Very cool. What are the people are saying about it, though? What are the people saying about it, though? First game I backed on Kickstarter says Strong Arm. Cool. Merky. Strong Arm. Uh, the game has to be packed precisely to fit. There's a video to pack correctly. Yeah, that is... I'm curious if that's more for, like, hey, this will make it easier. If it's like, no, hey, this is literally the only way it's going to work. Because I was like, then it's yeah. like, don't put it in 10 if it's not actually a 10. I, 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 I love it. I get the gimmick. But if your game is bigger than a 10... <laughs> Don't you know put it fits in a fairly tin. easily into the tins. Mint works in mint delivery. Yeah. They fit comfortably in there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm definitely into that. That's that's cool. For 20 bucks, too, it's like, hey, it's a game that can fit in your pocket for 20 bucks. Yeah. Right. Why not? Very cool. Okay. Uh, Ooh, oh, so Strong, strong uh, Arm says light pieces can only go up and dark down. So I think it's about trying to get everything lined up. And green is kind of wild. The other game, uh, besides Artemis, for me that had me intrigued was Machina Arcana. Junkyard Derby Stinkpunk Racing Board Game. Tight. Yeah, the, the big ones. That like reminds not... me, of, remember all those games like Backyard b Baseball and stuff? That's like what I'm saying. Kid, That's yeah. why I want to look at it because I was like, this kind of looks like that. Yeah. Got another board game table. There's so many board game wow. tables on here now. They all fun like crazy. I'm, I'm really curious and stuff if it does, but then like Game Toppers is gonna do their next Kickstarter it's pretty soon. Massive I'm, too, I'm curious if it's gonna blow up. Cause cause Game Toppers is really <clears throat> what's up, Kyle? Really putting the work. Kyle, man. So okay, okay. Junkyard Derby. It's a card-driven steampunk racing board game where you build a racer out of junk and then battle hazards and each other. Nice. Pretty down. So Junkyard does a card you see where the makers of pure steam role playing game resources. Uh that's basically the same thing again. Need to build quickly because anyone can race after the third round of play. There are four components each racer needs. A chassis, wheels, steering, and propulsion. Each component has its own attributes. Some are quick and flimsy. Others are slow and sturdy. That's kind of interesting. That's cool. I like the, that you yeah, burn out. <laughs> you got, you got your, your little hole, and then you put stuff on the front. That's, that's really cool. Neat. Oh, that's I like cool. that. Fun. <laughs> what fun. <laughs> what fun. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This is cool. I like this. So you can just mix and match and make craziness. Oh, you got hazards. I wonder how heavy like this break game down is. halfway through. It can't be very... What's the price? Sorry, I'm trying to. Very good. Uh, do, 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 do. Twenty-three. Couldn't pay earlier. Twenty-five looks like. Twenty-five bucks. Oh yeah, twenty-five's sure. not bad. No. Um, there's plenty of hazards. <laughs> I'm curious. Deal damage to your racer and then make a durability check. All right. Okay. <clears throat> I'm interested. Uh, so Caden says Winterson had was interested in bad maps. I think. All right, I always love when they add gambling to racing games as lunches. Hell yeah, dude. Where was bad maps? I'm guessing up. Is it up the way we passed it? Bad maps. No. 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 Yeah, sorry no, if we if we no, missed no. something, people. Let us, let us know. 
do Machina let us know. Arcana. Wasn't someone just talking about that? Uh, Alexander was. Okay. Bad map. What is bad maps? Do we? It might have been just just above where we went. You kind of. Yeah, right. I thought I saw someone. Oh, here it is. Oh, bad maps. Can you turn bad maps into good fortune? Game of pirate programming and mixed up maps for three to five crafty captains. Ooh. All right. All right. I'm just gonna just do that. All right. Let's look at bad maps real quick. Bad, bad maps. maps. All right. So X marks the spot as you and other pirate captains piece together scraps of maps, sending minions stumbling around the island, lending some to traps and others to treasures. But beware, other captains' instructions may work against you. Yar! Are you a clever captain who can turn bad maps into good fortune? Land ho! So, okay. Land ho! Land ho! Uh, Away from the ocean we go. Do, do. Hunt your... Tr okay. Someone teach these boys control F. I'm not here to learn. Nah, fo. I don't know what that means. Yeah. I don't know no commands and things. Okay, so each person has their own map, and you're going trying to find the stuff. All right. Nice. Cool. Nice. I, I like programming games. I wish I wish uh more <laughs> there are more programming games. Dude. Cheryl says bad maps backward is spam dab. Teach your spam. Spam dab. Spam dabs. Cool. Uh, Alright, this is Machina and Carnal. Travel the unknown, face the horrors, and survive the story in immense Immersive, sorry, and dark experience awaits you. You and a group of explorers. Group of explorers. See, again, these are just more and more. I'm like, eh. It's kind of the it's same. It's a cooperative steampunk horror game for one of four players. Hmm. I do like steampunk. Mm hmm I like steampunk as a theme. Why has it not been done more in board games? Has it not been done, but... Yeah, that's true. You think it'd be a, not been, like, a huge... You think it'd be, like, zombies or something like that, right? Yeah, like, by now. I mean, like, Gray Fox is working on that one, and I I'm interested like in that one a lot. It'll come, but it's like... I, I'm so surprised it has not, like... There hasn't been a year where there's been 20 of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's weird to me. All right. All right, well, this looks cool. This is, like... Map those... Scraps is better, says Strong Arm. Map Scraps. I thought Clever was your middle name, says Slivers, says Lunches. At Slivers, from Lunches, I should say. <laughs> from Lunches. All right, wait, wait, wait. We were uh, 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 a hard board game. Says, hey, did you look at Jam Hens yet? Hell yeah, we did. <laughs> did we look at Jam Hens? Uh, did we love it? Did yeah. we love it? Let's uh, look at it. We surely dang did. I'm um, rolling this one because this is a board game, but the board games are named Second Breakfast. Second Breakfast, an affordable quality board game too. No, oh, we're coming near the end. <laughs> steampunk zombies. I'd watch Steampunk zombies. I'm not gonna lie. I'll be down. I'm not going to lie. Okay. All right. Affordable quality board game table. Um, see again. This right here proves that there is a market for this kind of stuff, man. Jeez Louise. They can make quality, all, cheaper ones. They have all funded by a bunch. That's cool. What? Hardboard has made the video and the Kickstarter page. What? Dude, you're the best. Why don't they go back and watch it? I saw it? Melissa. I'm so happy. Melissa got her prints. Yeah. Also, buddy. if you won something, please let us know when uh, and if it gets to you. That is lovely. Grizzly Diz says, I feel like steampunk is more of an aesthetic than a game theme. Uh, zombies, etc., have built into mechanics. Yeah, that's kind of a good point. That's kind of a good point. But I'm just surprised then, because then to me it's like easier. Yeah, because you just know, throw that like, on just there. Just throw it on. No. So it's I'm looking just like... Maybe maybe it shouldn't you know be a thing, but I'm just surprised it hasn't These become chairs. Okay, your chairs, bro. Made out of European beach. beach. <laughs> Some sweet European bitch. <laughs> sweet bitch. Oh, dude, I got some sweet bitch wood did the other day. So sick. What do steampunks even do? That's kind of a good point. Uh, whatever the heck they cool. want, they just float away on their hot air balloons and things. Do they crush butt? Is what they do, obviously. Yeah. Hope that there isn't a strong wind because they're all blimp based. That's what I assume. Uh, and Wizard Man's right. We do have to watch the game, the Gem Hens video at some point. Here. Oh, yeah, we're gonna. Sure. gonna go back and give some love, man. All righty. Now, there's love. nothing else, else on our list that has been mentioned by people. Occam's Razor. Has, any, has anything else. Has anyone. Yeah, we kind of keep going down and just look. Not the gang. Outdoor game. Fun outdoor game for family friends. All right. I'm just curious. Okay. We're going to go back. Did make me some coffee. Okay. Yes. Man the fart, Mike. You got to man the fart. 
I got, I got my cup right here. I got my cup right here. My copa. Dave Phillips is listening in the background. I heard clapping and Melissa got her prince. I'm like, good for her, man. That's not prince. Prince. Prince is a... Nick's art. Nick, he got Nick's art. We're still, we're still applauding getting art. Is that, that requires applause too. Uh, uh, Sliver says, G Money, talking to G Money, says, oh gosh, no, steampunk is both an artistic style and a very defined world. And in many RPG games, super defined rule set of mechanical versus magic. So they take their steampunk serious. Very serious. Uh, Ant Swarm, the board game. Probably skip it, but I do want to see what this Nocta King is thing. It's outdoor games. Outdoor game for family and friends. They have not pledged their goal. What do you do? Watch your game search in here. Our first game, Nocta King, is created with the idea of making an easy to learn yet challenging game. When designing our games, we will keep in mind that they have to promote social interaction, challenge the player's physical skill and dexterity, and most of all, they gotta be fun. It's an outdoor game of skill in which players will alternate playing attack and defense. While defending, one player will strategically throw the towers into the playing area, hoping to defend the king from the attacking player. The attacking player will try to knock the king with the hammer without touching any towers and in the least possible number of throws. Every throw of the hammer and every tower that is knocked down will score points for the attacking player, but be careful. Once both players have been in the defense and attack rules, the game is finished, and the player with the least points is the winner. So you, so you want to golf it. Let's watch this video. I got to see it, guys. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not going to lie, guys. I love this stuff. Wieners. This is not a knock on it, but what happened is people got drunk and started using their croquet mallets in other ways other than intended. Knock the King video. It's a little, it's a little garden game thing where you're throwing a broken ass. 193 bucks, baby. 193 bucks. Okay, thanks for bearing with me, everybody. <laughs> I, I like those things. I think they're fun. But I mean, long games are great. Uh, <laughs> Sliver is talking smack, so they stay drunk and made the video too. Yeah, yeah, they could have done better for themselves. Uh, but if that's the one, Shabbat I'm super down. <laughs> uh, I know. G Money's trying to harken back to the Chachki video. Uh, Chalversad, if you're still around, have we, at this point, seen the game in question? Whether or not we've got, have we, have we, have, have we passed it? Because if so, then we can officially start making our guesses and make a poll. Uh, I'm still 100% thinking it's gem hens, but that could just be me hoping. Um, and Grizz Dizzy says, that long game looks like an iteration of Cub, K-U-B-B, -B, which I heard about after getting interested in another Kickstarter that was kind of a knockoff. Uh, Nyarla Brothep. Hi, Brothers Murph. How goes it? I just put up a Kickstarter of my own this week. What's your Kickstarter? And welcome. Thank you for joining us. Chalversad says, no! It's not Jim Heads! Okay, we gotta find this crap. No, it's BS. He says we it's haven't, no, he says we haven't looked at it yet. He's lying. He's he said we heads. haven't looked at it yet. It's definitely Jim Heads. He does not lie. Chalversad does not lie. lie. Uh, Dusk Arena of Shadows. We looked at that, didn't we? Dusk, yeah. We looked, I thought we did. Really really we Hold at. on. Hold on. Right on. So, oh, yeah, you... that was the first thing we looked at. Yeah. Right on. It's pronounced like Koob. I don't know what all these guys are talking Koob? about. Koob? Okay. Yeah, we're doing them in order of when they came out. Yeah, so that was, as it is an earlier one, we, we have... Uh, Party game on really bastards. If, if there's anything that it, people want me to go to, by the way, just holler. And it's okay that you just logged in. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. It's 
Uh, any questions or input for people for about dusk? Roach party, game of humans versus roaches. Tempest. Oh, Guildmaster. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna take a look at Guildmaster now. Stretching. Looks looks uh, cool. Uh, build the most famous fantasy adventurers guild in the land. Game for two to four players. They are past their goal. Awesome. Good for them. Forty nine bucks to get the game. Do you have what it takes to build the most famous adventurers guild in the land? I don't. I don't know if I do. Ooh, they've got all these little player screens, so you can't cheat, can't look over. It's like when you're in elementary school and you're doing the test and you had the whole, you go into your like, little oh, yeah. desk I love those little cocoons, box. dude. I used to sleep in there. Yeah, oh, those things were very, very comforting. Um, this is Guildmaster. What's up, Sleazy? What to do? What to do, Sleazy? What to do? I also, I would like to look at Thieves' Dead, Mikey, at some point. Thieves' Dead. Ooh, I like the art. What is this? What is this? This is Guildmaster. Guildmaster? Where is it? Ass man. As your own fantasy adventures guild in this two to four player tabletop game. Compete with rivals as you order your adventuring teams to complete Oof. increasingly challenge, challenging contracts, recruit powerful adventurers, and upgrade your guild. Assess risks and rewards to expand your guild through careful planning and silver tongue negotiation. Nick's Nick's got a. I just like the art. <laughs> you've got you've got cheer withdrawal, dude. You're just dabbing. I know, I know. I haven't got any cheers. I'm, I'm dabbing away. Damn boy, man. All right, cool. Cool. It's pretty. pretty. I didn't really. I wasn't listening much. I was mostly dabbing. But well, that's how you pretty. Doing, man. Very cool. And then uh, Pax Pamir. Pamir. Go uh, up is thieves den. Just beat to dubs at some point. Thanks, Thomas. Just because it's work replacement. No, I just want to look at it. I'll look at anything work replacement. It's just how it is. Damn it. Pax Pamir second edition. Here dab. Here dab. Hear me dab. Hear me dab dab. Thieves Den. I'm gonna dab off because I want to. Do it. Do it because you want to. Do it because you must. Yes. 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 Look at yes. Uh, I heard someone else mention Rap Gods. Was on the list. No, but we will look it up. Grizzy Dizzy is Diz the Dizzles. Dizzleton did. So um, Thieves Den Nick, is a card drafting dev on it work replacement game set in a magical Victorian fantasy world. Oh jeez, what did we do? We've made a huge mistake. Damn on it. Oh, and uh, hard board games. Uh, Jesse and Melissa are going to start a game of Viticulture. God, I love Viticulture. Damn on it. We didn't get to play Viticulture either. I know. We wanted to, damn it. We, we will have to make up. We'll have to rain check that. Um, smash back, back. Smash back. Dab back. Think. So happy you're here. Uh, okay, so this is a, a card drafting worker placement game set in the magical Victorian fantasy world of Amaranth that we created for 10 Minute Heist. Cool. I, I said work plays before I cared about. Damn on it. Uh, I got pinched in a cunning ruse put on by the, the city magistrate. I like the word magistrate. It's a fun word to say. Now it's off to all of us, the master thieves, to see who can gain the most prestige and become the new boss. Damn on it. Damn on it. And also damn on it. Well, these scout choice locations send thieves to nab treasures, send ill gotten gains. Gains the underworld fences, and even then deal with terrible which to increase right. our reputation. Cool. All right. So I'm just I just wanna I wanna get a bit of a, so get a new location get a bit of the, the scouting ooh. phase. Okay, it's scouting phase. Thaven phase. I just want, can you give me show like the board? I just want, oh, there it is. Cool, Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. Yeah, very cool looking. All right, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take a, a closer look at this one later. But um, all right. Beautiful, beautiful man. And Rado did a, a rundown. Okay, cool. Cool on it. All right. Oh, three days ago, so I got to check soon. Uh -huh. Pax Premier, Mike. Whoa, they just made money. That was a heist. No one's been doing hypes. That's good oh, call. Yeah. Dropping them heist, people. Oh, yeah. Putting command, heist, space, and then boom. Oh, never mind. It's too late. Never mind. Well, you can, you, next time, in 30 minutes, we're still here. Pax Premier is... Jamal's not still hot. Navigate the path to power in this interactive strategy game about Afghanistan in the 19th century. Awesome. Interesting. It's an interactive historical game about politics and power in the 19th century Afghanistan from designer John Company and Root. Root. Uh, in the game, players will work in coalitions to build a new state after the collapse of the Durrani Empire. However, only a single player can win 
As your coalition becomes powerful, form allies or former allies will turn to espionage and political subterfuge in an effort to secure their personal dominance. Interesting. Wow, is that the one? Is that how it looks? Is that how it looks? Maybe. Wow, I hope that's not. Here's the thing, though, but it's all politics, man. It's all politics. That I don't care. That's. It's gonna have limited retail availability for an estimated MSRP of seventy five, but you can get it on sixty. For sixty for that? Well, I don't know. Oh. It's so over a hundred cards with period we'll illustrations. Start a boss battle. Type in command boss to join the boss. People need it. It yeah. can't look that way. I agree, Diz. There's no way it looks that yeah, way. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel like this is a Euro game right. through and through. Sure. Yeah. Type in command boss. You can fight the bosses. Hmm. Check the note under the board. It said kill a bud. Go for it. What? Check the note under the board. There's a little note. 3D product runners are not my strong suit, and I can hardly do justice to what the final game will look like. Okay. Okay, they probably got a lot of, like, what the ass is yeah, this. That's very good to hear. That this is literally a blueprint. What the... You did that? Yeah, I did ass. <laughs> uh, nice. All right, seems too backstabby for me, says Alkbox. Looks like butt cheeks, trademark crook. That's true. We're going to steal that crook. I don't care. Dude, butt cheeks, did. Dude, it looks like butt cheeks. <laughs> like butt cheeks. All right, but that's good that it is that is just a stand-in thing. Okay, right on. I think the theme, the I mean, theme is interesting, but it's just like... Yeah, I love... Even then, that's good. Well, this All is right. a prototype. Fighting you, Mike. Ooh! That's right, baby. Oh, absolutely crushing butt. All right, wasn't there one thing out someone else wanted to say? What? Let's look up this Rap Gods thing. Rap Gods? Rap Gods, folks? Put in the thing. Is it that what it is? Rap Gods. Is it below us? I'm guessing it's it's below us. I think we would have absolutely seen it. And Chopper saw you said it's a game, correct? It is not some sort of accessory. It's dude, it's 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 it, was it Gem Hens? It was not Gem. Well, he said that we hadn't come across it yet. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I, I think he's lying. I is think he's throwing it. Oopsie poopsie. Control F. Don't know what that means. Um. Yeah. What's this Control F and why do you care so much? <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid to press it because you're gonna. It's gonna. There it is. Our computer. Okay. 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 So. Rap gods, the hip hop strategy and storytelling board game. I'm honestly kind of down. Be the next rap god. Build your rap skills, money, street cred, and start beef with other rappers. Give the most record sale plaques. Oh god, please don't be racist. Um, it's the best unpublished tabletop game. All right, control of is find. What? So what do you want? What do you want us to find? I think we just type in rap gods and it'll just go find it. Nah. <laughs> We're fun this way. Yeah, we're here to scroll. We're cruising Kickstarter, man. Okay, actually, I'm, I'm pretty down with this board, not gonna lie. The art is cool, yeah. I like the just very bright oh, yeah. 90s ish. One of our Tupac Chotsky. I love that Tupac Chotsky. Mm. You're ever trying to live your dream as a hip hop artist. Your goal is to outperform your opponents and collect scroll up. plaques. What? Scroll up to the top. Is this funded? Maybe this is the game. 25 grand? We do have a we do have a Tupac Chotsky. We do have a Tupac Chot Ooh, we do have a Tupac Chotsky. I'll be down to get this. I'll bet you, man. Because if it ain't game, if it ain't gem hands, then this is my now. Yes. I have just as much confidence, but I had 100% confidence in gem hands, and it turned out that was not. Um, okay. I mean, Chachki is the correct spelling, with a T, man, like Tchaikovsky. Yeah, it's like Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky. So, I, mean, I don't really know what you're doing. Yeah. So, so. Diz says the game looks good, but listening to how it's played, probs bad. So like, I mean, it looks it looks good. I think it's pretty take thatty. I think you're like this one. You're you're like you got beef with people, and you're like Start stealing pawns for a chance to steal their plaques, money, skills. I mean, I'm crap. I'm not against it by any means. I just I it it doesn't look horrible, but it doesn't look like the best. It does like the art and so the boards that looks really cool. Twist All right, so Twist Gaming did a spotlight on it. That's interesting. We do like our we do like twist gaming. I got a lot of people to play it. I mean, I'm down. All right. All right. Cool. What's what's a? Uh, yeah, very take that. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, so seven days ago, oh, that's a that's a steep that's a steep hill to climb. Might make it. But okay, rap gods is definitely in the running, especially if he wasn't um, lying like a like a fancy pants liar. Is it rap gods? And Chopper says it maybe. Is it? <laughs> um, it's hip hop strategy storytelling board game, man. 
I love I'm just the art stuff. Keeping you guys on mute for now while I blast through ads for bits and homework simultaneously. Hope you don't mind. Hey, man, I'm like open for those viewers, and as long as you throw us a bit or two from those ads, man, I don't even care. Uh, was it Into the Black Force? That wasn't funded yet. Smash Pack. Oh, Shower Sauce. Now, now Shower Sauce is Mr. Maybe over here. Oh, now he's all maybe. Maybe it is Gem Heads. I don't know what's going on. Uh, is there any other games that people have been clamoring to hear about that we have not talked Lunch about? Lunch has said Babil, which I think we did not look at... I'm waiting for Control F to pop. Do Control F, man. This one I might want to do Control. Yeah, this, well, let's do Control F. Maybe, there. maybe they're onto something, Nick. Nah, afraid not, dude. See, nothing even happened. No, I just broke everything. But oh, oh, I almost clicked on this one earlier. Oh, oh man, I'm not telling that. That was way totally. I did not enjoy doing that, Diz. I did that for you one time. That's because you watch a lot of insurance. Ads remember the time that it, for it us. really did work, and so like I'm kind of like, damn, maybe they're onto something. But I don't want them to know. Um. And I was like, honestly, the theme class of the tabletop demographics is going to be difficult for it to finish funding. Unfortunately, it does. Although, I think if that... It's a little more reason for it that I wish that it would fund because maybe you can get new board game demographics. Yeah. Yeah. It would be nice. This looks pretty... Okay, so what do we got here? We got... Bobby is a new, highly interactive card game for two players. There's a lot of two-player games. I'm loving it. I'm loving that. Loving it. Uh, which involves building a fantasy city. Could be a better blur, but okay. Um, welcome to the neighborhood. Compete with another noble person to be elected governor of the new city of Babil. Uh, build new projects and deal with the residents who have decided to move into the city. Win by controlling the best areas and homes with those residents who suit you most. But be careful. The new visitors have not left their old quarrels behind and bitterness still exists between humans, elves, dwarves, and orcs. Ensuring peace prevails in the city will not be easy. Has okay. this met its funding? Mm, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, you wanted that. But the best buildings inside of the city, control, having some color into it, okay. Also, you can send different buildings out. Kind of take like Dice City in that way. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit. Okay, cool. Oh, and this looks, I hope the gameplay is, I, mean, I like the look of it, honestly. I really like the yeah, look of absolutely. it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm hoping the gameplay is, is good so that it, uh, you know, because it's like this is a kind of a, it's a fantasy, building a fantasy city, like, you know. That's a pretty normal theme, so it's got to really stand out. Oh, Ooh, Melissa. Melissa Thank you, Melissa Sings, for the host. Thank you, Melissa. We um, love you. And Jay Sleazy asks, what do we think about Tiny Epic Mechs? That was one of the first things we looked at, and I'm excited for it. I'm into it. It I, looks cool. I think the little mech meeples are really cool. Um, you know, it's, I don't want to say problem, but some people, you know, say it's like, it's this game that fits into a tiny box, but it is like a pretty like big table hoggy yeah. type game so you know there's always that but but uh you're right hardboard games I'm definitely into it it's 20 bucks yeah that last one did look like Imperial Settlers that's what I was thinking it looks like something that's what it was it looks like Imperial Settlers um but yeah you're right going back to what we're talking about it's like 20 bucks come on like whatever so I'm point out B lives or B lives B lives I'm guessing board game about surviving as a wild beehive right on. you know what be interesting a game where you're bees, maybe you're like a queen bee, and you're building a hive. And you, that got, you, gotta, so cool. you gotta have like honey production and stuff like that. You know a lot about bees, you know, or even like ants or termites or something where you're having to build some kind of big nest or big hive, and you have to build you have like to different routes to be able to have more bees, and then different bees have different jobs as they age and stuff. So maybe it's about like how many you produce to have different. If you made like a legit like Euro that game about so that that looks really cool. pretty, that would be freaking. That might be what this game is. We should awesome. scroll down. Awesome. Be like, we will only know summer. Uh, we is a resource management and worker placement game lit. Where you try to survive one year in nature as a hive of bees, you will select one of four different queen types to lead. Oh, maybe this is it. <laughs> this is it. You're talking about um, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Compete against other player in driven and AI driven hives. As you try to rule the meadow. Ooh, this is interesting. It's one to four, too. Um, Lunch is your right. It says uh, a new queen comes and kills you, takes over the hive. There are coups that get staged. Yo, straight up. They'll start building up like a new queen and they'll like kick out the old one. It's crazy. As a librarian and beekeeper, already like this guy, Matt Shoemaker, he would be a librarian and a beekeeper. I didn't care to create a game with a play experience that's both influenced by modern Euro games and stays true to how bees behave. Got him. So we're just we. That time we talked for like five minutes about what a game should be made. We probably should just scroll. 
Dude, you know what we just did? Man's playing the shit out of that. <laughs> okay, we got four high. Oh, this looks interesting. Ooh, man, I'm looking at this one. Is this game fun? Um, no, not quite. Although is it's it got this one? It's got 25. Ooh, no, it has nothing to do with our tchotchkes. There's no bees. I mean, there is. <laughs> Justin Biebs. Bees. <laughs> bees. All right, so everyone gets their own little board. Hive boards. Disease track boards. Ooh. Seasons board. Yeah. Ch -ch 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 cloth bag. Nice. Score track. Wild hive board. All right. It's a lot of stuff, Gosh. man. Oh, do we can come down to do this. Someone, someone, um, donate two thousand bucks so we can go down to Philadelphia and beekeep <laughs> with Matt Shoemaker. Honestly, that is. I'm not gonna pay two thousand dollars, but that's kind of dope. That's an awesome pledge. That's a cool <laughs> pledge, like goal. Zero gravity. We checked out zero gravity earlier. It's very interesting. But seriously, if anyone could just drop, I'm not sure how many bits that is, but a lot of bits. Like oh, two hundred thousand bits. No, it's like two million, I think. At All that right, two point. million bits is easy. It'll be sweet, uh, so we can go down and beekeep. With uh, Matt Shoemaker. Hmm. Okay. Well, the, I shouldn't hark on the phone quality because it probably doesn't matter that much. Um. Okay. Okay. Actually, I should leave this. So foraging, go out and gather honey pollen and water. Okay. Uh, eight different actions you can take and be like scouting, foraging. It looks like you can go raid. Um, you can uh, defend against other people. This looks interesting. Yeah, the board can build wax. Little... That's yeah. very cool. Let's so increase the size of. We'll go up a little bit, just right back to that. To the sorry. Size of your comb and yeah. See, so yeah, this is yeah. This is what I was thinking. You could do different things you could do. This is pretty darn cool, man. This is a very. Uh... Let's see, you have and mites, poison. See, so you can clean your bees. Interesting. Occasionally, the season cards place overheating effect, which require you to take the cool hive. So you have to cool the hive down because it can overheat. Mm -hmm. You know what? This is interesting. This is really interesting. This may be uh, something to... When your hive is affected by your standing in disease tracker, bees consume honey resources to stay warm. Once winter is complete, you tap everyone's points. What? Dave Phillips, if I were going to drop two million bits, it would be for the sole purpose of sending the bros to beekeeping camp in PA. Think about it. I honestly, Think of the dope video we'll be able to make about our beekeeping adventure. It'd be worth it. <laughs> honestly, I would much rather you do that than for any other like practical reason. <laughs> so, um, interesting. Okay, so there's two modes of extended play. Um, you can do one year or two year or even three consecutive years. Whew, that's so you can see through multiple years solo play. What's the game like? What's the cost base? I don't know. Actually, that's a good question. This, this honestly, like, I just I like the theme so damn I'd much. I want it for its its originality for sure. Uh, fifty. It's not too bad. Yeah. Depending on what the quality. It's a lot of pieces like. and stuff. Yeah, yeah I kind of like. I mean, I like the art style on that, and it seems like component component quality. Looks like there may be wooden bits and stuff. That's cool. So, interesting. Uh, Avengers says this looks interesting, and I'm back. Um, I'm back. Um, Silver said, if I was to drop 2 million bits, it'd be to bring the bros to Minnesota in February. If you got bees, man, we'll come out. Here's the thing. Think of the dope video that, that would be. <laughs> if you, if anyone dropped 2 million bits, I would go to Minnesota in February in shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> I would not. I would pack a bag with board games and no clothes to survive. And we'd make a video and see what happens. I, I, flip flops, bro takes. Yep. Oh, that's right. Kill a bud. I forgot that's a Nick Cage game. I, I said yes! beforehand, Mike, and I was like, Mike, we got to check out this Nick Cage game. <laughs> Scroll down slightly, no, I'm just slowly. Gonna, I'm just gonna go like this. There is a Nick Cage game. We're gonna go snow tubing. I'll go snow tubing. Down. Super. I'll wear Frickin a freaking banana hammock. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> Someone drops two million bits. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Nick Cage versus Nick Cage. Where is this game? I forgot what it was called. Do you remember, remember what it was called? It was a weird name. It wasn't. Oh no, it was, it was Behemoth. That's what it was. Yeah. That's what I said. So says, okay, the Minnesota group is doing a fundraiser for 2000 and bring you to, to Con of the North in February. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's real, but that's awesome. Where is it? Did it get did it get taken off? No. Uh, I searched for it. I did search. Uh, it was like See? in this column. It was, yeah. 
See, the search function is worthless. Would you would you search? Be Hemin. Well, search Nicholas Cage, fool. You right. Who's No, this game doesn't exist. Where'd it go? I don't know, did we Did we make it up? No, I saw it. It was ridiculous. Yeah, because it had it had him from Raising Arizona. Yeah. It wasn't it was like at the top. Yeah. Well But it was like we noticed it before we even started. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like all right, let's, let's Did it like expire like right when we Here it is. Thank you. Bayman. Uh 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 Vidra putting the girls Okay, what are you doing, man? Are you about your kids or are you about us? You tell me. <laughs> Uh, Here it is. Slurry says that is totally real, by the way. Miss O Group. <laughs> what is it? Miss <laughs> Slurry really is trying to get his game group to do a fundraiser to get 2000 bucks to bring us to Con of the North, which is a great name. Yeah. Uh, that is hilarious. Yeah. Uh, and Dave Phillips says, I'm offended by any time you don't wear a banana hammock. Uh, who's to say that we aren't right <laughs> now? That's fair. There's it's a reason fair. the camera starts right here. All right, because it's about us. Okay, so the card game based on the many esteemed and some not so esteemed characters portrayed by the greatest actor of this generation. I agree. Very true. Twist on a classic game that's guaranteed to stir up some discussion and debate. Pick cards and place pairs, but don't get stuck with the Behemoth card. All right. The Bayman. Why, why Bayman or Behemoth? Or, yeah, Bayman. Bayman. A treasure hunter who steals the declaration of independence, alcoholic who moves to Las Vegas, whatever. Okay. Um, so those are just a few of the many unforgettable rules. Of I mean, the, dude, look at the Cameron Poe, though. Yeah, it's the Poe, dude. Oh, God, I love Connor. It's my favorite movie. So, what's the song's performance as uh, Bayman, a delusional knight who is tasked with escorting a witch to her trial? Wish we could erase it from our memory. So, that's you don't want to be. That is hilarious. Bad. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. How did this get, how did they get away with this, though? Like, couldn't Nick Cage sue them for this? Um, They probably don't specifically say, like, the character names and stuff. I guess, yeah. I don't know. I just want to be Cameron Poe always, so. This is not pledged. Is it this? Chow Rastat? Because I'm down. Uh, Chow Rastat, dude. I'll bet you it's this. I'll bet you it's this. Chow Rastat's favorite Nick Cage movie, go. Con Air. Uh, Con Air. Me. Con Air is it's not even close. Con Air's my favorite movie, and I'm not kidding about that. It's probably Con Air. Con Air and Face Off are great. Face Off is wonderful. I don't know, man. I love Nick. I love a lot of Nick Cage stuff. Though. Me too. I really love National Treasure. I've watched National Treasure. Yeah. A bunch of times in the last few months. It's just it's kind of so like fun, man. Feel like it's gone in six seconds. I do love some oh, seconds. Oh man, that was a very that was a that was a formidable formidable Go, film. Then everyone started using the word boost. You know, you go boost a yeah, car, boost a car. The Rock, yes, I do. Man, Nick Cage had some had a time in the nineties. Oh yeah. Um, Moonstruck. Moonstruck, yeah. it's great. I mean, Raising Arizona. Love Raising Arizona. There's probably more that we're missing. But yeah, I mean, Con Air, The Rock, Face Off. I mean, that was a time. Oh, yeah. That was a damn time right there. Yeah. Bam! Pick and Manly. That's, 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 that's a lot of insurance ads. That's a lot of insurance ads. It's a lot of insurance ads. Thank insurance you, Pick and Manly. I much appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you for much. taking a break from your uh, homework to send them bits along. Well, I think that is it. I, we've gone through everything on our list and most things. Um, uh, Vigil makes a good point. It says, never forget the wonderful turn in Ghost Rider. The first time he turns into Ghost Rider is one of the most um, important moments in cinema history, I think. I mean, it is it's some true. acting right there. There is some scenery being oh, yeah. chewed Just apart. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, what were the most interesting games of the day? The B1, honestly, just because of the theme... Um, Definitely excited by Pearl Brook. Yeah. Um, we, oh, we need to do a, we need to do a poll of what we think. So, people in the chat put in and on top of things you're interested in. What do you think Jobber Style is trying to get at in terms of games? Put in anything that you think might be what this dude was was alluding to, and we'll do a poll, and then we'll see. That'll be our official guess, and then we'll be either right or wrong. I think that on it. Ah, uh, New World, never trust Merc Blue Ridge. Ah, uh, get out of here. You know? I, how dare you? You go back and watch, you go back and watch Con Air and you tell me you don't know what's up. Yeah. So, Artemis Project, Dark Domains have my attention. They look pretty cool. I'm already in Pearl Brook. Uh, Dark Domains definitely did Pearl Brook for sure. I mean, the Rap Gods, Tiny Epic Mechs. Tiny Epic Mechs looks cool. 
for sure. What's up, AJ Ranger? What to do? Um, I think it's between the Rap Gods and Jem Hens. I know he said it's not Jem Hens, but I don't care. I, I don't believe him. I think Nick Cage game needs to go on there too. Nick Cage. I don't Cage. know, but it's not based on a Chachki thing, but it's based on he knows that we love Nick Cage. He does. Based, based on the Chachki. We're gonna put it on there for. I think it has to be between Jem Hens and then Rap, Rap Gods. Gods. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, bonnet. Or is there was there any sort of seafaring game? Do you have Captain, Captain Swaggins? No, I don't think so. Other than like Pearl Broke, but that's you know. Mm. Alright. So we're gonna put in mm. Alright, so our poll so is going I'm to guessing be... Into the Black Forest. We can put that on there. Into the Black Forest? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know. I mean I'm sure we're wrong on all fronts. I'm so Alright, so yeah, we are gonna have a poll come out. Um Right now, and everyone vote on whatever. And what is the majority of the vote is? That's our official guest as a crew. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's that's our guest. That is our guest. The polls gonna come out now. There are four options. It'll tell you what to do right there in the chat. It'll tell you. So you're gonna put in um. You're gonna put in command vote space and then the number of the one you think it is. So zero is into the black forest. One is gem hens. Two is rad gods. Three is Nicholas freaking cage. More so whatever one you think it is, put in, you got to put in command, vote, space, and then the number. And uh, Sliver says, Into the Black Forest is my favorite game on Kickstarter right now. Mm. It did look cool. It looked interesting. It did indeed. Um, indeed, indeed. So uh, so get your votes in. Let us, let us know. I got a hunch of, of what I think it is. And then after this, what we should do while you're doing this, can you load up the Jim Hens video so we can watch? Oh, it? that's right, because that's a that's a oh yeah, girl, oh, yeah. Um, uh, could you do a Twitter poll for those who watch this in the morning too? Says Cheryl. Sure, probably yeah. Absolutely, we can. Absolutely, we can do that. Damn, 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 damn. Undead seas. Okay, this find does not work anymore. Sh Word for a second. Now, Bam can't not show up. Straight up doesn't work anymore. Keep on voting away. People will close it down in a second or two. I think I know what everyone's voting for, but. Jam ass. Where's the jam ass? Jam hence. Damn, damn, damn. Where the ass? Ah. Uh, Spectre says, I just saw it at the bottom of your list. Did you look at Infinite's games? Infinity's games. Infinity's game. At the Infinity's game. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Good job, Mike. Uh, no, we didn't. I don't think we did. I'll, we'll, we can look at it in a sec. Kerflop said, good evening. Kerflop, first of all. God, you have a good name. Great name. Kerflop. Right name. Oh. Uh, Jarvis has a vote. Nice try. Dang. Hey. Okay. All right. We're going to close down the poll here. The poll, man. In about... Three, two, two, now. And one. Okay, one thing clearly won, and that is fair. That's the one I thought it was going to be, too. Okay, so Rap Gods won with 13 votes. It's That's what everyone thinks. Bing Bong vote. Dirt Del Sol, what's up? How are you? Dirt! What's up, baby? There's a search function at the top of Kickstarter as well, indeed. There's uh, also true. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, Chow Rasat, were we right? Were we right? I'm assuming no, and if not, what the hell is it? What is it? Have we have we still missed it? It's Jam Hens, dude. If it's not Jam Hens, it should be Jam Hens. Get out. <laughs> um, you know Shmo Oh yeah, I love Shmo Yo Ho. And uh, Cheryl, we're loading up right now that video. The game was Rap Gods. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I love it. Nice. I love it. So How we're close getting funded. Was it? Do you think it's gonna make it? It was pretty close. I think. Okay. Rap gods, nice. All right, so Gem Hens could have very well have been the one though, based on our tchotchkes, and I'm glad that once we found out it wasn't that, we were still able to deduce it because I really I was like, there's no way we're gonna put it together. Oh yeah, we put it together pretty easily. Nice. Shower start. I hope it. I hope it funds so that we can check it out. This <laughs> one. Was it? What? No, it was infinities, infinities. Adrian said, "Play the Mind Scarabai Expansion Love." 
letter hobbits night during game night. Very cool. So I asked for this one. Smashback says I made back gem hands just to send to you bing bongs. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to I'm not, I'm not upset about that. Speaking awesome. of gem ass. Gem ass. Let's turn this back on. We got some gem hands right here. So Jesse from Hardboard Games made the, this Kickstarter page for gem hands and made this video here. They're very close to funding. Very so we're going to freaking watch it. Okay. Oh, Bing Bong's got to get gem hands. We can get it over 3,000. In 1885, 000. a Russian czar commissioned the first jeweled egg as an Easter egg gift for his wife. Since then, many more of these precious creations have been commissioned, collected, and sold in the millions. But what if you aren't a Russian czar or millionaire? That's where we come in. In Gem Hens, players have bred chickens capable of laying jeweled eggs. Each round, players send their chickens into the farmyard to compete to eat the best grain gems and lay the most valuable creations. Gem Hens is a set collection game for two to four players featuring real-time dice rolling. With just 20 seconds each round to roll up the actions you want, you'll find yourself racing to clock in the results you want before the rooster crows. Use your chicken action dice to walk, strut, or fly your way to the tastiest gem spaces, or to cackle at the farmer to throw out more feed, giving you more options for future feasting or forcing others to keep on pecking when they'd rather be returning to the hen house. Power Cluck cards provide special powers to be drafted each round. Sometimes you want to be a nimble chicken dashing around the farmyard, and other times you just want to be a tough hen who can't be pushed around, giving you lots of ways to play. Gem Hens rewards both planning and flexibility, letting you decide on a style that fits you best. Will you patiently plan to grab the most valuable grains, or will you race to be the first to fill up your eggs? Will you carefully avoid confrontation, or shove your rivals around the barn? yard. Though each player will present a jeweled masterpiece at the end of the game, only one will be deemed to have laid an egg fitting for the czar. Pledge your support today and help us unlock exclusives, upgrades, right and now. extras. <laughs> so let's see, chat is just... <laughs> I think it looks fun, personally. Uh, so real quick, Shadow says about Rap Guys, they have a pledge level where they send a copy to youth centers. I thought that was cool. I think that is super cool. cool. And I was like halfway through the video, Kurt Flop was just like, this looks awful. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like an app. Like, it looks it, like that's a, what I was thinking. It looks like an app. It looks like an app. I'm honestly kind of down. I'm kind of down. Looks fun. Looks fun. And Darth Dalsal, I'm not drunk enough for this game. <laughs> Come on, you gotta get into it. I love it. The video is great, too, Jess. Good job. Yeah, I mean, it's a very well put together a video. I love it. I love it. It's hilarious. Right on, guys. Right on, right, right on. Right freaking on. Um, and Infinity's There's thing. one. We had, I thought I'd looked it up. Hold on. Right. You must cluck as you play, says show. That's fair. Won't be, but yes. Ooh, it's a 4X light game. I'm interested by Explore that. Explore the multiverse in this 4X light game with infinite replay value for one to four players of all levels. Only 39 bucks. That's pretty cool. 100 hours plus gameplay. It seems like they're trying to sell how much replayability is. A little a little much. I hate because like, there's so much replayability. My, I'm like, yeah, that should be I, a given in a game. Like You should not have to say that. I didn't have any worries that there didn't until you brought that up. Exactly. Like, well, why do you keep saying that? <laughs> exactly. Like I, I completely agree. I'm like, I wasn't worried about that because that's something that should be in there. Yeah. I like these. These look cool. Yeah. Don't know what they do, but it looks neat. Give me, a, give me a little bit. The multiverse is an impossibly vast existence accounting for every possible outcome of every possible point of divergence. In Infinity's Defiance of Fate, you are the leader of a, a sci-fi or fantasy faction seeking to assemble an army, shape the very world you walk on, and fulfill or redefine your destiny. 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 Um, experience a combination of accessible tactical gameplay and rich, flexible storytelling as you forge your own ass. Okay, cool. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Give me, give me, give me something. Because you're deploying stuff and desert roaming, fire casting pangolins. Omnipresent mind controlling machines. These are, that's cool. I do love different factions. Anytime there's any game with different factions, I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, well, I like that this is affordable and on the lighter side for four X type games. So this seems interesting. Cool. The price point is reasonable, though. I think I gotta try it. Here's the thing, Visher. You get it. We'll play it with you. <laughs> Um, I like the look of it. It looks cool. What what uh, 
Oh, Cheryl's trying to heist everybody. If you want to heist, get in. And oh, get in that heist. heist. Space the amount that you want to try to risk in your heist. Wow, it's like 40 up. bucks. Yeah. That ain't bad. Mm-hmm. Streamline 4X play, solo. Mm, this is not bad. Definitely interested. That is interesting. Four days to go on that, though. So it's like, got to be about it if you're going to be about get it. Get in it, people. Get in it or get in the heist. Hey, member man, what to do, bro? Woo! <laughs> That um, is incredibly reasonable, says Alkbox. I agree. That ain't bad. That's baby. one of those ones I'm like, might be worth a shot just based on the price point alone. But very cool. Otherwise, it'd be nice to be able to try it first. Problem with Kickstarter. It's hard to do unless you want to print it and play it. Yeah, which I won't ever do. I'm not going to do that. All righty. Lit. Lit. I might be sucked at the last minute. Yeah, forty bucks it really isn't that bad. No, you're not getting you're not getting suckered for much, so that's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Oh, we're doing very well, member man. We're just Be wrapping up whoop. this. Uh, this Be whoop uh, got it. This uh, it's a diz die again. Oh man, B whoop came up. Vidra came up. Pure cook and BX Sweet C came up. I got them. Payday. Most people <laughs> died, man. So Ooh, few good. have returned. <laughs> so few. So few have returned. Oh, the Goonies, great movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you got it, Howie. We'll start from the beginning again. Okay, so dusk. <laughs> um, okay, everybody. I think we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up. We're out of here. Um, out. Thank you all for this inaugural Kickstart Let Heart. Uh, if you didn't know, this is gonna be every other Friday is when we're gonna be doing this. It's gonna be every other Friday. That way, it's two weeks and there's more new stuff. Now that yes. it's going to be every two weeks, we can probably spend more time on some of this stuff like, because there'll be less. There'll be fewer things, you know? right? Got on it. Um, and thank you so much, uh, so much. Thank you for getting us over 300 subscriptions. That is super, super cool. If you haven't followed, we are like five away from uh, 1250 in followers, which is a next goal that we had set ourselves as 1250. So we'd love to get to that um, in the next day or two. That'd be super awesome. Stay on it. Um, <laughs> But yes, thank you so much. Did everyone enjoy this? Um, is this something we want to keep doing? Did we hate it? I liked it. How I thought it was fun. It? I like these kind of chill streams. Why did we hate it? I'm very sorry about that, but thanks for hanging out. <laughs> and good luck on your Kickstarter. Good luck on your Kickstarter. Um, Howie loved it. Thank God Howie loved it. Man, loved that last few seconds. It was great. Loved it a lot. Um, Cool, people liked it. Good, 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 good. Please tell your friends about this. Is this something we're really hoping to build uh, an audience for? Just because it's cool to have the opportunity to go through Kickstarters and, and answer questions live in the moment and get the general vibe of the community to see like, hey, what does everyone think? And people are like, this looks like ass. This looks like hot ass. <laughs> or this looks like solid ass or whatever. So <laughs> This looks like uh, solid ass. Um. Um, I agree. Spectre says it's definitely fun. It's also nice to see everyone's opinions on games at once. I agree. Same because like our opinion of a game, like eh, it doesn't look like for me. Like there are certain games that for sure where it's like, oh, it's like not really our type of game, but other people might be like super down. And so it's like yeah. every we get to get a taste of everyone's, uh, uh, you know. Yeah, it's definitely. I uh, know Cheryl. We actually have someone who already has uh, who is already making the lists for us. They're gonna make us a new one each time. What I'm going to do is in the Discord, and the Discord is right here. If anyone has not joined the Discord, please do. I am going to have a channel in there that we're going to make that's just going to be for this. So if there's a game you want us to check out, put it in there. Uh, I know there's already a Kickstarter one, but put it in there. That way it's easy uh, for the person who makes our list to find it and show ones that you all are interested in us looking at. Because we, um, we will look at the ones you're interested in closer than anything else because... You know, indeed, uh, B Lives has me intrigued as well. Smash Pack and Chopper Sauce says, "Hey, honesty time, guys. Did Rap Gods look like something you want? If not, it's no biggie for me to back out." I'm down. I mean, it's, it's, if it's not it's super expensive, then yeah, yeah. I'd say if it's, it, I couldn't, I can't remember the the general price. If it's kind of expensive, then like, I'd say think about it. But if it's not and you don't mind the stuff, like we'll give it a go. I mean, but yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm like, we really don't know. I mean, yeah. Based, I like the art and stuff. I mean, based on the little look we have, like, I'm not against it. So, got one more boss battle, people. One more boss battle before we head out. 
Uh, and let's see. Oh, oh, Vidger played Root last night. My Woodland Alliance. My Woodland Alliance is strong. Nick's Woodland Alliance handled business in that forest. Yeah, I. I oh, I was gonna say oh, I no, crushed. We were, I didn't crush. It was yeah, a very we were close all game. A turn of of uh, ending the game, but Nick got it done. If everyone out here is lurking, type in a uh, command boss to do the boss battle. Run wide before we leave. Dave Phillips says, "Am I a bad person for being legitimately interested in gem hens? Because no. I'm slightly ashamed. No, hell no, you're not. It was fun. It looks like it looks, it looks like, like an time. app come to life. And it's just silly, light fun. But I think it was cheap." and everything so like yeah why not like I don't think there's anything wrong with that <laughs> you know sometimes games it. should just be silly and that's, that's yeah enough. there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with just a fun light little game don't get me wrong actually you know if that was some big giant heavy euro I'd also be super down because <laughs> I just I'd love it just a heavy ass serious board game that's just gem hens <laughs> I'd be super down with that super down alright let's see how them because that's how you know they don't They're take themselves me. too seriously oh, oh, oh they killed they me got slapped Damn, you got destroyed, bro. And they going on tomorrow. Are you working tomorrow? In the morning, yeah. Probably. What time till? All day? Till 1.30, but then I'm out in Ventura. Okay, yes, I'll be drawing tomorrow. If anyone uh, does not know, I started my own drawing channel so that I'm not going to be drawing on our channel because it drives down our numbers. We're going to host it on this channel, but you can follow my other channel, which is just Art Nick Murphy on Twitch. So I'd really like people follow, but I'll be drawing tomorrow on Twitch. But it'll be on my channel, on Art Nick Murphy. Go give it a follow. Give it a follow. And if you're out there lurking and watching us and haven't followed, give us a follow because we're so close to our... We're very close, so to, close. Our, to our next goal. It'd be sweet if people give us follows. But we'll get there. Um, cool. <laughs> Hubby works tomorrow, so I'll be able to chill ass, chill ass tomorrow with you. Cool. Chill ass. Um... Give me unboxing dead winter while you draw. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. It's a good. It's a. It, it, your streams are good to like. Yeah, unbox have box and do stuff too. Totally. You can kind of like watch and hear Nick t chatting, but you're like chatting. Chatting. I have chill music on. So even not chatting. Thing. It's just. It's yeah. just kind of. It's a great thing to put on in the background because I'm just gonna sit there drawing. So like, if you're chatting me up, cool. If not, like that's also cool. cool. I'm just sitting here hanging out. Nick's doing stuff anyway. Uh, I hear Rob D is coming on the show when you hit your next goal. Rob Davio, we can probably I get along. I think Robbie D uh, is unaware of that arrangement, but you know what? He's the type of guy who just fly out enough. to Cali when we say like, "Get out here, bruh." Indeed, get out here, bruh, bruh, bruh. Um, um, yeah, all right, but I'll probably start around like ten tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, everybody, that was our first kickstart. Let heart kickstart, and then let heart, dudes. Let freaking do that, dad. Uh, but thank you all so much for being here. We really, really appreciate it. Um, have a wonderful rest of your night. Hey! And we'll see you on Monday hey! for... Um, <laughs> we'll see you on Monday for our next installment Part of our campaign two. streams of the Near next, and Far. The next map, man. The next story. Raid. We'll see if there's anyone to raid to. We don't really raid very often because a lot of times there's like no one's there's really no one to, to raid, raid to. Too. Yeah. But let's see. Let's see if there's someone to raid to. I want to make sure it's someone fun, you know? Yeah, someone, someone that like... going to be like... Cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of times we raid to people and they're like... Okay. Yeah, and we're like, come not on. entertaining and I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to make you feel beholden to someone that you're not interested in Yeah. Watching. But let's let's see if there's anyone out there. Because the problem is also a lot of times there's like one person other playing board games. We're like... Because there's just, there's just none of us. There's just none of us. There's none of us. Man. And we need so many more. Oh, X-Wing Junkies is playing. All right. Is, let, let's see if this is a rerun or not. If it's a rerun, then we're not going to raid to a rerun. But they're live. Okay, we're definitely going to raid Because they raided to us yesterday, so we'll return the favor. And I'm pretty sure we've raided them before. Okay. So we are going to rave to... What is it? X, wing, junkies, just that. Okay. Pow. Did it work? I don't know. We're in a whole new system now, actually. We are in a whole new system now. I don't now. know if it works in this. Um, so I just don't understand well, the rate. That's true. Do you need to do the slash or do you need to do the command? You do the slash. No, command. usually it's a, a, a slash like that. Let me do this here. I know it works in here. Um, it's prepping. Okay, it's prepping. Okay. It's we're in a new thing. All right. All right, everyone. Have a good night. Uh, flop. No, it'll take you there. No, no, no. It'll, it'll just take you straight there. Um, Please give them some love. Mom writes with her? I know. 